What's up, everybody? Hello, and welcome to another edition of the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast. I am your host, the most professional wrestler, TNA megastar, the Scotty Pippen of wrestling figure collecting, Brian Myers. And I am your host, the Deathmatch King, the Indie God, the Internet Champion, always ready, Matt Cardona, a.k.a. the Thousand Dollar Broski, a.k.a. the Michael Jordan of wrestling figure collecting. I'm also here to produce the show, Smart Mark Sterling Esquire, the most famous professional wrestling lawyer. And this show is brought to you by our good friends, Ringside Collectibles. Use code MAJOR to save 10%. And speaking of Ringside, I spent the entire Jericho cruise with John from Ringside. Um, I Did you negotiate got... an 11% discount for our fans? No, I'm working on Damn that. Damn it. Uh, okay. I, I didn't. I forgot to pitch him the the ringside exclusives where in ringside gear. I forgot to pitch him that, but I did introduce him to SDL, who uh, who's going to start with some, some uh, lip gloss. Well, she's going to start. No, I don't know if she did that, but she's gonna, she's going to start scratching that figure itch to ringside. Oh, use the code major to save ten percent. Huh. I thought you were going to say there's going to be an SDL bell to bell. Oh, you know what? I mean, I wouldn't you know turn that down. You yeah, I'm a it's going to you know if it's going to be authentic. So old school Remco's is going to need that flocked hair, though. Mm. Oh. Two colors, because they're going to have to do her bangs. That's right. <laughs> true, true. It's going right. to be quite, quite Brusky, a thing what, to pull off. When are we going to talk? Can we, can we ask you questions about the cruise? Sure, but let's, let's get to the follow us on X, okay. Instagram. Okay. All right, you go, go through TikTok that. TikTok and YouTube at Major WF Pod. Subscribe everywhere. Um, leave a review. Not just any review, a major review. If we read your review on air, you'll get a little prize. This review comes from at Dark Lord Asha. Since the start for the Major West for podcast, I've shed so many tears from laughing and smiling. Never before has a podcast hit so close to home. Hearing Matt and Brian talk about their childhood fig feds and collections make me think of my best friend and spending hours putting on our fig fed. This pod got me through my last year of college, a global pandemic, and so much life change. The Major Mark's Facebook group has been a second family to me. I've been able to share proposing to my wife, my wedding, and the birth of my son. Before the launch of this podcast, I thought Stomp was the stupidest line of figures until Brian changed my mind with a single childhood story. Now I have all of Series 1 displayed in a Stomp and Paradise ring proudly displayed. Wow. That's I awesome. love that. Landon, thank nice. you so much. Yeah, man. Perfect. Perfect you'll review. Be, you'll be getting that new um, Major of Pod magnet. Also, every week, courtesy of Ringside Collectibles, is a giveaway. Find the pin post on X to be eligible. Last week, the prize was Big Pump Pump Pump. Scott Steiner, <laughs> the elite one. The winner FWF was, legend, Big Papa Pump. That's right. Oz the Geek. And this week, the prize, <clears throat> courtesy of Ringside Collectibles, is the Cody Rhodes Elite Top Picks 2023. Oh, shit. That's a nice figure. So just find the pin post, repost it to be eligible. Majormarks.com. If this comes out Friday, it'll be February, right? So mm. finally, was January the longest month of your life? Because it was for me. Guys, it's a new year. On Patreon, a new year of majormarks.com. This is our anniversary year, which means brand new trading cards. So, full disclosure, we haven't even decided what we're True. definitely doing. Can I True. suggest something, though? Oh, ooh, on, live? On air, live, live in front of people? Are you going to argue on air? Yeah, sure. Us three, we're always the layup. Let's save us for the end of the year. Oh, let's that's, come with the, that, that's let's come with the friends and the hits and the stars. That, that's fine with me. Not a bad right, idea. Let's, let's change that up a little bit for the people. Maybe, maybe in the middle. Let's compromise in the middle. We'll, we'll sprinkle them in. It's just not well, going to be the first that, yeah, three okay. like it always is. Let's, right. let's change that up. Well, who do you got in mind for the first one? That I don't want to. I still like that to be a surprise. So Yeah, we haven't we haven't even talked about that at all, huh? No. Honestly, dude, I mean, real quick, we don't have to go th- through it all, but we have, I have, Toy Hayo, WrestleCon, uh, Squared Circle Expo, a big event, <laughs> all in the next three months or whatever. Like the amount of wrestling stars that I'm going to be around, the sky's the limit, pretty much for right. what we, the damage that can be done with that card set. Absolutely, interesting. Um, yeah, very very interesting. And guys, so that's the hard foundation tier and up. You have all the bonus podcasts. We already recorded one. It's we we watch Clerks. We talked about Clerks. We talked about the the James Alabama figures. So check that out. We still owe you another podcast. Uh, we got to figure out what we're going to do. Any ideas, guys? Hmm. Wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry. You, so the Jay and Tyler Bob, if you're listening to this Friday, is already out. It's out right right on February 1st. Yeah, so that's for February, yes. but we still yeah. owe them one other one. 
Uh, I, well, the Royal Rumble watch along went great. Big hit. I think. I think maybe we should do another watch along. Can another? Hmm. How about this? I have an idea. Okay. The first ever Elimination Chamber Mass Square Garden, where Shawn Michaels wins the belt in the the brown tie. It's Elimination Chamber month. We watched the first Chamber Survivor cool. Series two thousand two. I'm fine with that. Sure, and we're both in the crowd as little fanboys. That's right. That's a good one. I like that. Sure. The Johnny JB, the movie club is still a thing. We we lit it, we did clerks. <laughs> yeah, we did clerks. And um today's years old, the Elimination Chamber is coming up next. I didn't really I didn't even, yeah. process, I didn't even <laughs> yeah. process that, but cool. <laughs> it's always the Royal Rumble Elimination Chamber, right? Is it always still like that? Yeah. Yeah. Come on. We sure? It's yeah, because cause, cause the Royal Rumble guy picks who he wants to face, and then the other person get, faces the person who wins the elimination chip, right? Has yes. It's been like that? No changes? For a long time. Thanks. Long time. No, no dips? All right, sure. Uh, there's also the silver linings, the figure dissected with Deep Freedom. I have the Let Him Breathe. We have the Captain's Log with Joe Shoes. He's happy hour. So much stuff going over on Facebook, going on over on Facebook. The, the Facebook group, uh, man, we're, we're right now, guys, let's just say this. We sold out of live 19, live in Philly tickets in minutes. Record time, I would say. We thank you guys so, so much. But right now, there's a chance in the Facebook group, there's a little raffle ski going on where not only can you win a ticket to the show, but almost kind of like unlocking tiers, depending on how many people sign for this raffle. You can get all the merch. You can go backstage. You can, yeah, I'm not going to reveal everything that's going to be, you know, but it's going to be unlimited. How many people enter the raffle? We'll keep adding things. So check that out over on the Facebook group. And what else am I missing, Mark, on majormarks.com? I think you nailed it. Uh, that back, uh, back to the Future, what am I talking about? The behind the scenes uh, vlog just went up this week as well. So, Oh, I got to send you those clips. Yeah, we got some cruise footage on there. Some cruise Ooh. footage on there. Nice. Uh, and, and every week we give away a prize to a new and old subscriber. Who do we got, Mark? Ah, uh, yes. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, yes. Oh, yeah. First time in the line, Jason Salonetro and the classic superstar Josh Drake. Congratulations, guys. All right. So follow up. You talk about this Jericho Cruise. You gonna you gonna yeah. name me? Let's hear yeah. about it. Yeah. So what? Uh, how how was it? Like your mindset going into it. So first of all, I know that all three of us last year he was so lonely. We're not us. looking forward to it. Yeah. Then I it ended Chris, up being one of the best things ever. I told well, Chris that, and Chris told me that he tells that story to people to sell him on it. The, about us? <laughs> no. How I was like, I texted him after. I said, "Bro, honestly, I was dreading coming to this, but it was one of the greatest yeah. things I ever had like experienced in my life." Right. Yeah. Yes. I, was, I thought the fans I, would be overwhelming. I mean, I told Santino that Santino was asking yeah. me a bunch of questions about yeah. it at TNA, and I was like, "It was so great." Full blown dreading it. And it so what was your and my going? wife? Like my wife was not like a oh, wrestling yeah, fan, or, and she <laughs> she had a blast. Loved your your mindset going into it this time, but <clears throat> none of us were there. Yeah, so I, I knew, um, luckily, I was already the champ. I won the tournament last year, so I'd only have one match. Which Automatic God. booking. Automatic booking. Automatic, only one automatic match. Automatic booking, being the champ. It was a little weird without you guys being there because, um, you know, I'd usually go out to dinner with SDL, but then I'd want to go, like, drink my face off if she doesn't drink. So I'm right. like, all right, I got to, like, join, like, I'd uh, be, like, the third wheel. straight with... and sober John Morrison there for you. Right, right. Yeah, I'd be the third wheel with, like, John and Kira or, or Macklin and Ponderosa or hung out with Trent and, and Rocky Romero. Uh, it was a great time. Ringside John had a great time. It was uh, so much fun. And a lot of major marks were there. Johnny Cisco was there. So many people were there. Uh, so many was it the, the same Facebook boat? Group. Same exact boat. Okay. Yeah, so which is cool. Pictures, yeah. Which so you knew like, around, you knew your way around. Actually, Liz and yeah. I even said they were like, "Damn, if we went again. We'd have like such a lay of the land." Yeah, and, and there were. I know exactly right. where the cheese sticks right, yeah. are at at freaking one in the morning. <laughs> yeah, there everything. were things that that boat is so big that I didn't even realize we were there last year that I went to this time for the first time. Oh. Like what? Like different bars. There was a, a martini bar. There was like an Irish pub that overlooked like a concert. Yeah, that I found like on the like the last day. I want to say. Yeah, a lot of cool stuff. So, oh, great time. Uh, this is a great uh, question. Russ Saylor, how was the um, politicking with Scott Demore? How was your TNA politicking? You, you, I, I did politic a lot TNA to contract, Scott. TNA contract coming in the mail? Or? I did I did politic a lot to Scott. I said, Scott, because he was watching uh, the show, I, was on. I said, oh, I'm going to really impress you with this one. And I said something like, if, if I win, you got to sign me. And I knew, you know, unfortunately, I did not go over. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> he's like, oh, you really don't want to work here. So I'm doing the reverse psychology. You know what I'm saying? Got him. Got him. <laughs> no, but it was a great time. Awesome time. I can't wait. Hopefully, I'm booked on uh, six. God, Jeff, it will be the six. sixth one. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's cool. Yo, hear me out on this. This pops in my brain. What if we did this summer? The major pod cruise, and we just get a big party boat in New York, and we just take it out, and like, and fucking just I did drink it for all Liz's thirtieth. It was the, f- it's crazy fun, and like we just charge premium tickets. We probably couldn't do wrestling, but like Stang's on there, the captain, <laughs> he believe <laughs> the you know? captain. Uh, well, it's yeah. got to be, yeah, it's got to be named after yeah. the yeah. captain. They leave out of um, God, what's the name of that spot in Freeport? We staying on it, Nautical Mile area. No, the no, Mile. Mile, yeah. Oh, the Big O's got to be on it, isn't that his big O? Security. It could be like kind of like that major pod New York hang, but on a boat. It could easily be done. We just got to have experience. Time. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Two right. exclusive bendy. Oh, there hey, shoes. That's repaid. the shoes repaid. That's the shoes repaid. <laughs> Guys, look at this. We're booking it right Brusky's now. Got chills. I see chills in his. I got chills. His, uh, yeah. We're gonna do the 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 major cruise, the exclusive bendy, premium item, premium ticket, premium cost, uh, and shoes will get his fucking bendy. What's the over under? Connect can't swim. I'm gonna say. Definitely. Oh can. my God, I would definitely not. Daughter's can't swim. life that he can't swim. <laughs> he can't drive. He can't swim. Uh, he, shit. he can't talk. You know. He's going to have to wear like, he's gonna have to wear like one of those life vests the whole time, like a little kid. Holy shit. Uh, but uh, crazy fun. I mean, I did, like I said, I did that for Liz's 30th, man. It was awesome. Oh, uh, actually, speaking of my daughter, Ethan Page told me. That he needed my daughter's name, so he texted Broski, asked him what her name was, and I was like, "There's no way he knows. He knew. I he knew. knew. Why wouldn't I know? I don't know. I just, I don't know. I what's, just didn't what's think Mark's you would." Wife's name. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron, come on! Oh, oh yeah, shit. all right, come on, guys. <laughs> oh, damn, that was a stall. I came, where'd you pull that out of? Come uh, on, guys! She was at my wedding. I know all my wedding guests. That's oh, true. Yeah. It's probably come on an Excel on. sheet somewhere that tells you. Holy shit! Uh, what about right, well, Cruz? Sounded Brian? fun. <laughs> Cruz is five no dangerous and more dangerous. I don't know. Yeah. Brian, you were. Uh, you weren't booked this week. You took the week Civilian off. Civilian right? life, bro. It was fantastic. Family man, hanging out with the kids. Watch oh, the rumble. The family. I had literally probably like 10 or 12 cap guys over here watching the rumble like a freaking Oh, fan. the shoes cruise. Just, the shoes cruise. The shoes cruise. That, that will have to be like really small font under whatever we really call it. <laughs> now, now he's not so into that. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it was nice to just hang out with my buds and watch wrestling like a like a fan and chill. It's pretty fantastic, actually. Those are the best. And not not pack my goddamn roller bag and go somewhere. Yeah, amazing. Hey Mark, were you on uh, the collision? Uh, yeah. I, so <laughs> you know what's ridiculous? I, I I'm to- I used to think you guys were insane, or at least Broski was insane for not knowing where he was going. I told you guys all last week I was going to Springfield, Missouri. That I'm not going there for a month and a half. <laughs> I was in Bossier City, Louisiana. Book to good <laughs> itis, man. You Which is apparently close to Texas, but they have like, uh, there's like, it's a casino town, right? So they, I guess Texas people drive there to, to gamble. There's like five casinos. We stayed at the Margaritaville Casino. Uh, yeah, it was a little collision at a, at a nice night. The Came TV, home. wait, the TV hotel was the Margaritaville Casino? Yes. That's, That's awesome. awesome. That's but it was not, too. not the shit on the hotel. It, everything closed at 10 o'clock. What? It, it was literally like a regular ass hotel bar. You know, that closes at what? T- 10. That's like Nuts. shocking. Shocking Nuts. to me. It was, a ho- it was a normal hotel that happened to have slots in the lobby. That's what that it felt not, like. That is not on brand, I'll tell you that. Yeah. Not on But anyways, brand at nice all. little collision. But I was, I was home regular time. Very cool. All right, so we got some follow-up. Last week we were talking about the Keith Lee. Did he or did he not change his gear? It turns out he did. He did change the gear. It's similar looking, but you can tell different pose. There's different things on the bikers. <laughs> it's different. I have no problem with this. I've uh, Guys, our WrestleMania 35 gear, I kind of redid similarly for, for NWA. So I've done that before. It's fine. Sure. Maybe, maybe he has a sentimental connection to this gear. I don't know. Okay. So 
just want to let you know it's not exactly the same. It's different. So D Freedom, we thank we you for finding those photos. Okay. Yeah, so you can see even the colors are slightly different. But I can see where people thought it was similar, but it's different. Yeah, I mean, we can't really say anything about this when, like, MJF has worn the same exact piece of gear since the first match he's ever had. He just changes the color. Yeah, so does right. Randy Orton, though. But, and I mean, yeah. Randy just changes his, right? For years, at least right. he did. Right. Um, also, guys, I just want to, again, thank you for, for selling out the live show. Minutes. It was unbelievable. Not that we were nervous by any means, but there's a lot of competition. Sign Guy Lou hit me up and said, hey, are you, are you a WrestleCon? I said, bro, sold out in minutes. Where you been? Yeah. Where you been? You I'm, so, I'm yeah. so proud. I said, come on, dude. What are you? Sold next? out in minutes. So we're, we're very excited. Um, we got some great guests for you. There's going to be an exclusive Bendy. So I feel like we were really, really hyping live uh, 18 and how fun it was that this just sold out so quick. So we thank you guys so much. It's I mean, funny yeah, because the wrestling um, fan destination, you know, WrestleCon week, WrestleMania week. Right. And I think, I think we maybe, maybe we burned out Orlando a little bit three years in a row. <laughs> to take, take a little time maybe, off from yeah. that town. Yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, live in Philly, baby. It's going to be awesome. Presented by PBR, Major Bendy's and, and Ringside Collectibles. We have some great, great guests planned. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Of course, we'll be at WrestleCon. It's going to be a lot, a lot of fun. Also, guys, our major bendies. This is the last week. The last week to get Nemeth. The last week to get Butterbean, to get Mark Merrow, and to get Jay and Silent Bob. Three weeks Let's fast. Let's go. Three weeks only. Marvelous Mark Merrow. The Wanted Man, Nick Nemeth. Don't and leave that one around your, your wife or your girlfriend. Yes. In trouble. I'm excited for all of them. Got to keep them in on card. Don't let that Ziggler breathe. And again, guys, keep in mind, these will all be on exclusive carding. Everyone's going to get their own style box now. And, of course, the Jay and Silent Bob, unbelievable. We do have the card art for this. Look at that. It just pops. The quick stop, the uh, the video game store. It's black and white, but still has some color in it to pop. Um, really, really That's cool. Awesome. Jay and Silent Bob, TDD absolutely nailed these uh, designs. So here are the actual, you know, the prototypes, in-hand prototypes. We have Jay uh, and Silent Bob, and we're working with them for, for other projects. So hopefully these aren't the last Jay and Silent Bob figures that you see from the Major Wrestling Fair Podcast and Major Bendies. And and if you would like to hear more about Clerks and all their Clerks figures, we talk extensively about that in that bonus episode that is out today. We all watched and gave our yeah. own thoughts. And we all, and we talked about the figures. Memories, I didn't even know sentimental about. memories. And we, then we went deep into the figure world of Clerks. Yes. Yeah. So really, really cool stuff. And while this might be the last day to pre-order your Major Bennies, it's the first day to get your big rubber guys the next series you got um hacksaw jim duggan and magnum ta we're super pumped this friday for the entire month and i think we just broke some news if you're watching live on major we definitely broke some news here live hacksaw <laughs> jim duggan variant you're able to buy it this is no chase we heard you guys it's a, a variant in his usa face paint and his usa 2x4 but for one month only magnum ta over on majorbennies.com there is the prototype if you're watching on youtube we know the yellow in the hair needs a little tweaking it's a hand-painted <laughs> prototype guys it's like we're working skin yellow i mean yeah like, we gotta on, we gotta fix that a bit but it, uh you know the hacksaw looks awesome i showed hacksaw he was on the jericho cruise doing comedy which is fucking incredible. Really? And then, uh, yeah, and then I uh, showed him this, and he, he loved it. Wait, did he do all three nights, like, a different bit? I don't. I only went to the last comedy show, so I'm not sure. Oh, Liz and I went to every one last year. Nobody, yeah. I mean, what, the chick kind of repeated stuff. Yeah. Every, other than that, like, everyone, that's tough to do, man. That's real hard to do. No. So the hacksaws look awesome. They're, they're drastically different. One has the USA face paint. And two by four, one is a traditional, like, Baby face in the blue instead of the black like the LJN. And, of course, Magnum and the TA. blondish hair, the more blonde yeah. hair. So we're, we're super pumped for these. And we have more major bendies and uh, Big Rubber Guy discussions coming up later in the show. But that's all I have for follow-up unless you guys have more. Ready to rock, baby. All right, let's go to the news. And the news brought to you by Paps Blue Ribbon. The Major Pod Network has partnered with our favorite adult beverage, 
Pabst Blue Ribbon. Everybody needs some liquid courage to make their own weekly purchases. Scratch that figure itch and scratch that PBR itch. If you're listening to this, you're already a major mark. Now it's time to become a major PBR mark. Use hashtag Major PBR and post your pictures and videos of you major marking out with some Paps. Paps Blue Ribbon and the Major Pod Network, the tag team champions of the world. Of the world. Major PBR forever. Guys, no PBR on the cruise. I'm like, God damn it. Turn this boat around. You know, if we do... That's what you should have said. The shoes cruise, there's going to be plenty of PBR. Oh, plastered. Plenty plastered. of PBR. It's going to... I bet we can get PBR in a fucking... Get us a PBR boat. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my God. Like a big fucking yacht. A PBR yacht. But anyway, <laughs> guys... Use the hashtag major PBR. If we choose your picture or video, we will give you a little prize key. This one. At Joe Vin since 84. Glass or can enjoy a hashtag major PBR. He's watching the Royal Rumble with a can and a bottle. <laughs> what, a, what a legend. Going a PBR. Double fisting. We all love the can. I have it right in front of me. The can of PBR. But a nice fucking bottle of PBR. You don't see the bottle very often. I I it's hard to find the bottle. I prefer to drink. Uh, bottles for sure. Me yeah. too. It's colder. a premium. A cold. It's a premium item. And there's nothing better than watching a wrestler with an ice cold. And that's a premium item. All Football right, so too. We got the Super Bowl coming up, guys. That's right. Taylor Swift's uh, in it, I think. I, 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 even I know that. Jeez. Wow. I was gonna say, man. <laughs> oh, she's got his pulse on this one. Did you see Jeremy Bedauer in that uh, AW Jazzwares commercial? Yeah. Yo. Hell of, hell of an acting what job there. <laughs> on earth was that? I don't know. A lot more. <laughs> I'm I'm Hi, like, Jeremy. What's going on, man? Ooh, Just decided to pick up a little side gig, keep the mind busy, you know? Well, shoot, man. It's great to see you. I'm going to go on yeah. it. All right, my friend. I'm going to need to see some credentials. I mean, you know I work here. Just like everybody else. I know you. All right. Thanks, man. <laughs> no, 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 no. I need to see credentials. Oh, boy. Yeah, I'm going to need backup for Jeremy. What? Security? Hey, what's up? Oh, hey, OC. Wait, I, I, I'm the chief brand officer at Jazzwares. <laughs> I don't quite know what the point of that was, but I love Jeremy, so. <laughs> <laughs> I love Jeremy, you get a little, so you get a little video there for was, the internet socials. That was Jeremy's Mitch. I'm going to put myself in the box moment. Right, right. Uh, I don't. <laughs> Adorable I don't, though. Adorable. There was no mention of action figures or anything in that video. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not like. But hey, I, I love Jeremy, so I don't mind him uh, uh, being on camera. He's a a legendary figure in the world of wrestling figures. So I'll Hell give him yeah. a pass. We got to talk about. Hastel Toys and Mitch's Carlito Caribbean Cool Carlos Cologne. Welcome to the Little. dark side. <laughs> no, please, no. <laughs> so he put up this picture. And it, <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. And the internet, oh, no. of course, hated it. I don't know what we were looking at. Mitch later claims that he, like, was editing the photo and like blurred the face or something? Yeah, and that's then, what you do when you're trying to sell a product. It makes yeah, sense. so it looks like like the original photo. <sighs> it looks it looks like a Cabbage Patch doll on this. Someone posted pale. those old. <laughs> geez, someone posted those old school little like little people that would come with dinosaurs. Yeah, that's what it looks like. <laughs> so he since re uh, you know uploaded an image. Like what the is face, happening? The face looks better, but I don't know what happened. Ugh. So it looks better. That, that picture looks better. It looks better. Yeah. This is one where I, I don't quite know if I'll be getting it. I don't know. It doesn't it, fit anything. You know what I mean? Yeah, but for me, I, I don't have wise. any. I don't have any rules. I mean, because I have Matt Cardona, who's two thousand fucking twenty. You know, then I have you know, like what what are the rules here? Yeah. I think I it's great. I think I think it does look good. But this is I was like threatening him. I was like, Mitch, before he fixed the photo, I'm like, if you fuck up my dad's figure, you're fucking dead to me. <laughs> you know? The pressure's on now. 
But then he gave us something we were all waiting for. Uh, <laughs> T.L. Hopper. T.L. Hopper joining the Gizmos and Gadgets toy line. Tony Anthony. I don't mind it. I think this. I think it's fine. Yeah. I don't mind it at all. It's <clears throat> it cool. It fits his line perfectly. It fits his line. But the next. <laughs> but T.L., he's got to be a guy that. We need like a top shelf Troy breakdown of his career because yeah. it's got to be like goon style, like three televised matches. Well, if you, if you thought three wasn't a lot of matches, what about the run of his alter ego, Uncle Tony, <laughs> who I had no recollection. He's like with the Godwins in their heel run for like a couple weeks. I had Man. no idea. Like, uh, actually, actually, now it's ringing a bell. I like got nothing. I was a little worried for my dad that he'd be the worst selling figure of all time, but no. Well, now you feel fine about it. What Uncle was, Tony what was is going to be the worst selling figure of all time. Actual gimmick name. I'm going to look that up right now. I don't so, quite I mean, remember. I'm, I know him much better as Dirty White Boy from uh, Uncle Cletus. Is that is that it? Uncle, Uncle Cletus? It? Uncle yeah, Cletus. I, I don't. Yeah. I don't know why this was needed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know Dirty like, White Boy from, you know, uh, Smoky Mountain, but. I'm all right. for the T.L. Hopper, but I don't, like, I will yeah, not be Uncle getting Cletus this. Uncle Cletus was his name in that run. I do kind of remember that. I won't be getting this. Like, absolutely not. The T.L. Hopper, I'll get. This, I won't get. And I'd be surprised if he sold over 100 units, to be honest. I'm tr- uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well. Is he at least reusing the body of the existing goblins? But he's not because huh? he's got that chain. Or unless that chain's an accessory. Yeah, maybe he's reusing some parts. You know. Even so. Even so. After but, taking a brief hiatus, he returned to the WWF in September '97 as Uncle Cletus. He came from the audience to help the heel team of the Godwins in a match against the Headbangers. At Bad Blood '97, the Godwins won the tag team championships with Cletus in their corner. Uh, Cletus interfered in another match which backfired and Legion of Doom won the titles following this the guy was attacked Cletus who was never seen again <laughs> the yeah. Yeah. I do remember this now Whew, yeah so I will a month, not a month, a month run as that character I think a little too obscure for me yeah but he's also doing Dan Spivey wait look at which, this hold on a second Ryan Purvis says I own TL's tank top from his match with Rocky Maivia, it was Rocky's second singles match. That is, that is, that is a right. wild thing to own. Oh. And, like, how do you prove that? He wore a fucking <laughs> plain white tank top from Walmart. Yeah, you know how many people have, you know how many people probably have a tank top that he wore against I, Rocky you know Maivia? What, Ryan, I have it. I have that tank top, too. I'll, uh, <laughs> yeah. Ryan, do you have any, like, proof that it came from that, or did he <sighs> buy it that he <laughs> just bought it I don't want to burst your bubble, but you're buying it from this carny old wrestler who's in Smoky <laughs> Mountain. The, the chances of this being authentic are next to none. But but let's talk about Dan Spivey. I think this looks great. Great. This is cool. Fits the timetable. Fits the gimmick. Had way more of a memorable run than all the people we just discussed. Waylon Mercy. I, I've talked about this before. I used to use like guys who weren't in the WF anymore as new characters. So I used Brutus 2 in the white as Waylon Mercy for a time. Hmm. He's cool. In my fig bed. Yeah. So, wild character, man. Wild. Very wild character. So it was ahead of the, its time. I mean, Bray Wyatt lifted, you know, a lot from it. So right. I'm just kind of confused if the 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 entrance shirt is like a soft goods because it's like on one drawing but not another. Hmm. You're right. Mm, well, how would he okay. do the sleeve situation? <clears throat> right. So it has to be go soft back to goods. that next one, D. The one the the previous one? Yeah, no, no sleeve. Oh, wait, maybe the arms come off. See, see how they're kind of like. No way. No, I don't think so. Yeah, that would. Be anyway, awesome. listen, gotta I'll, I'll, be a soft goods, then that makes no sense. I, I, I like it. I dig it. No Unless problem. He's doing a, a Mitch pole. Which one do you like better? Yeah, that could be it. Mitch, Mitch loves. What you got to do the shirt to make it more Hasbro-y, but whatever. Yeah. Puma here says he's indecisive if he wants the shirt or not. So oh, there it is. I think he, I think he needs the shirt. Like, I agree. I, I think the shirt is better. I I'd prefer it if it was fucking 
Uh, but he's got all those tattoos, right? Do you not want to cover the tattoo? I don't know. Soft goods is just weird to me on a Hasbro <sighs> figure. Because you know Mitch is going to find some like shitty quality material. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Probably. <can't. laughs> it's not going to, you know, he's going to be fucking cutting his it own went, fucking how- material up. <laughs> <laughs> how many Berserker, Taker, two? Is that it for the history of Hasbro soft goods? Yeah, so I'm I'm okay with it, but let's see if he can if he can deliver. All right. Of the news, Foco showed off uh, their Dudley Boys. So this is the first toy kind of thing well, since first, they've signed their WWE deal. Did they get like a shirt, like the headbangers? Or? Yeah, I think they did. Okay, so this is their second item. That's cool. Yes. So it looks cool. Not the attire I would have chose, but it is it's what it like is. It's like not a very celebrated time period of their career, but right. pretty cool. But uh, I dig Good it. Good luck getting that signed because that for sure is a premium yes, item. Yes, that's a, uh, and I would, Ruthless Aggression style, I definitely want elites in this style, but certainly not my first pick. You know? Uh, I guess because they've made so many Ruthless Aggression guys, it for certainly would fit in an elite collection. Yeah. That look. Yeah. And, and for those listening it's the uh yellow camo bubba wear shorts era at the end there yeah um but yeah certainly i would want more attitude era dudley's and definitely ecw dudley's for me that's a personal personal preference there damn they do have a lot of i mean that's three pretty significant looks that like you'd have to get and for me keep in my collection you know i I think they're all they're drastically different yeah you know what i mean yeah 100 percent Okay. So they also there was an Undertaker uh Foco Bobblehead too. Pretty cool. And we said last week, you know, who has these these Focos? But a lot of fans we said we I got, do. We caught some flack for that, so I'll take yeah, it back. I'll take it back. Yeah. Fuck. But I like I said, if you get that Greg uh Greg Valentine and you freaking pose that in a premium spot, hats I off could, to you. I couldn't believe someone had the superstar Billy Graham in that plain red t shirt. The one we talked about from a couple months ago. Someone had it this Right, game. right. Yeah. Could not believe it. So we were wrong, guys. Uh, micro Brawlers, King Haku, people have been seeing. I love that. I, just by looking at it, uh, the, the chase is kind of hard to decipher which one is the chase, but it's just a, a little slight. Uh, yeah, very rarely do they kind of make it hard like that, but it's cool. Some, at least I, it's something. I was driving home from the Jericho cruise this week, and uh, – I was really, you know, I introduced Steph to uh, to Ringside John. I introduced her to Ryan from Pros and Tees. And Ch- Ch- uh, Steph and I were eating breakfast today at Cracker Barrel. And she she made her her little deal ski with, with Ryan. She's going to have a micro brawler. So that's kind of news. Oh, wow. Ooh. Holy crap. That is news. An SDL micro brawler. Did you um, just ruin a, something that's going to be in a crate, though? No. Not one of my oh, crates. Okay. No, no, no. Uh, no. Come on. Come on. I'm not, I can't do everything for her. If you want your micro brawler, you got to buy that. <laughs> You know what I'm okay. saying? You got to fund it. Also, what is this? I, oh, I'm, that's going to be a big D big Freedom hit. popping on the screen a little. Look at the Prince jealousy in his eyes. Look at oh, this. I love Nana. The Come jealousy, on. the manager heat he's got. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. He oh, brings shit. that story up all the time, by the way. No Does way. He really? knows yes. that story? Yes. Oh, I, wow. just saw, I, just saw, I just saw him at the You Jericho guys told Cruise. the story one time, and then... Uh, told it on the podcast or whatever, and the first thing he said to me, he's like, I know they were telling you that story. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly didn't. I thought that was just something that, like Matt and I remember because we're weird. I was like, I didn't think he actually like. Yeah, he remembered. That's oh, shit. That's really oh, good. That's going to sell big time. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Uh, I absolutely love that. What about um, Arriba? Tito Santana. Pretty cool. Power Town, the Remco. I dig it. I thought it was a weird choice for it to be in his WWF like Strike Force style gear, but other than that, uh, but Tito wore white too in his singles run, so I, I see it as both. Okay, I thought it had the Strike Force like logos on his boots. Maybe I'm mistaken. D, what do you know about that? D, does it have the logo on the boots? But he kept wearing that post the breakup for like okay for a while. All right. Well, listen, I love it. I think that Remcoms. Ramcoms, man! I used that. to love these Ramcoms. Oh man. god, Ramcoms, man! I'll I'll be getting it one hundred percent. I love it. I think the likeness is good. Love and respect Tito, so I'll definitely be getting that. What I love these? the slow reveals they're doing. Smart, because now we're talking about Power Town every week. It's, it's creating a lot of interest. Yeah, yeah. Had a nice call with my good friend Magnum Tia this morning, actually. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
What about these Bitty Pops from Funko? I, I'm not super familiar with what these are. It looks like like mini versions of Funkos. There's a yes. Shawn Michaels, Mean Gene, Bret Hart, and a mystery. Jerry Lawler, Ricky Steamboat, Dusty, and a mystery. Diesel, Razor, Rey Mysterio, and a mystery. And, oh, it says, it says who the mysteries are. Can, <laughs> n- now I'm totally confused. What is that? You For sure? <laughs> or you have a chance of getting Stone Cold Rock? I can't tell who that person is Hogan. I, I don't know. One of Triple H one would like three. sledgehammers. Is that what it is? <clears throat> yeah, I can't. I, I can't. I, I'm not quite sure. But these are cool. I I won't be yeah. getting them, but I dig it. I'm, I'm all into them. Uh, D, do we have anything besides the Mattel news? Here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we do. What do we have? All right, so we got uh, FC Toys. They uh, showed off their Kyoto and Vladimir. Well, technically, they didn't show it off. The Vladimir was like an Easter egg in a photo of another figure, correct? Okay, so there's the Vladimir. Well, there's the Kyoto. Just stick on one for a second. I think it looks okay. The original, like, whatever's on the back of the box did not look good at all, but I think this <laughs> finished cool. pr- finish part was good. Um, figure photography, too, to yeah. type all these, yeah. I love it. This is like mullet, Mike Kyoto. Like I will definitely. <laughs> yeah, I've mullet for a long time, guys. Yeah, I'll I definitely. Nice to, nice to represent it. One hundred percent. Be getting the you mullet, Mike Kyoto. Like, they altered the chin and stuff and the mouth. Yeah, I mean, that's making a big difference. Yeah. Yes, I one hundred percent dig it. And then of course the Vladimir, which looks uh, finished, and I, I love it as well. The fanny pack is pretty awesome. Yeah, that's cool. So it's Very crazy cool. that Vladimir has two figures coming out in 2024. So He's a man, he deserves it. What else we got, D? Yeah, oh, trust me, a, I saw this. Uncensored Sabu leaving the factory this weekend. So that's cool. So that means it got done what? within the uh, Chinese New Year. Cut, so the, cut off. That's the Epic Toy Sabu Elite Style. We're very excited to see this. We we pre-ordered this years ago, literally years ago. But a, we're, D, is, is it? That pre-order or our Super 7s deeper? Uh, That's a good question. This is deeper. This came out in May of 2022. Wow. Huh. I can look well, it up. Super 7s fi- came out, I think, in, in June. So uh, we're, we're finally uh, so going to get it. It's pretty damn close. It's pretty damn close, yeah. But this Sabu, I will totally be getting it, and I'm uh, very, very excited for it. My pre-order for this Sabu says May 30th, 2022. Hmm. I pre-ordered the Super 7, so I can look that up. Right. What else we got? Super 7s were just last year, right? The Super 7s were almost two years ago. What am I looking at here, D? So this is the Midnight Express. Do you remember there was like the oh, package? Yes. Oh, okay. so there we go. Why does this look like my daughter made the soft goods? This is horrible. $100? <laughs> yeah, but they come I with... I thought uh, they said they were done eight making eight these figures. Now. I don't know how many these, more they got left to go. These these Midnight Express figures might be the worst figures I've ever seen in my in my career of collecting wrestling figures. These are absolutely <laughs> uh, horrible. And for those of you that care, my pre order yeah, Medi was nailed on the head. You're a freak. Six twenty six twenty two was the Super Seven pre order. Damn. But yeah, this is FTC Midnight Express. It looks like hundred dollars. You get two action figures: Lover Boy, Dennis Condry, and Beautiful Bobby Eaton. Eight by ten photo of the Midnight Express signed by Dennis Condry and personalized by Jim Cornette. So I guess you know the figures with the eight by ten. It's worth it, but these figures look like shit. Anyone else looking at these soft goods? Like <laughs> at the end of the day, I mean, FTC has nice soft goods. What is this? Looks like felt or something. Like yeah. I don't know what. Yeah, not, I don't know. No, they- no detail. That, like what is going on? Again, you, you you're gonna have to we have to do the pat the last judgment once you have them in hand because sometimes these pictures are not great. But you you also have to understand that the people that buy these, right? Especially no, those Jim Cornets that are signed, are not yeah. action figure fans. They're just like collecting wrestling history. Yeah. Plus, if you so, opened it, it would fall apart, and you'd want to return it. So don't. Yeah, do it. I would. I would imagine that the most of the people are keeping these in package. Okay, I guess that would be fair. What else we got, D? Yeah, there's there's more of them that were showing off. There's actually three three of the uh, oh, Jim Cornette oh. exclusives. 
Oh my God, this one is all right. Stan Lane and Sweet and Stan Bobby Lane, Eaton. beautiful Bobby Eaton. Oh my God, I mean it's it's really cool. Like, look, I love Mark's, the Midnight Mark's Express. A, Mark's a completist. I love one. the Midnight Express, and I do love. Look the at these. Idea. The boxes look like it was made in on, in fucking oh, paint. No, not not Doctor Tom. I mean, this is pretty cool though. These I mean, ones I love Doctor Tom. These ones yeah. look pretty good. Wow, Doctor Tom, Sweet Stan Lane, Heavenly Bodies. At least this box has a little more going. You know, has some fucking designs on it. But if Jesus. you wanted all three, it's three hundred bucks so far. Oops. So, well, I won't be getting any of them. But hey, if you collect them and get it, support Doctor Tom. That's cool. Yeah. Chris Jericho AEW statue by Diamond Selects. It's that unreal. Awesome. It's really cool. It's just so um, old. Yeah, late champion. It's just late very, very like. 2020 just, 2020 yeah it's holy shit it's 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 just unfortunately very very dated yeah, but uh it looks incredible I, I all every one of those i think has been pretty sick for yes diamond uh we got these mlw figures that apparently are shipping Is i that, got the notification i think today so you ordered we, these uh for you know uh experimental purposes okay i'll i'll, I'll, uh, I'll have them next week for a live talk, review, unboxing, I don't know. I'm happy for, you know, Hammerstone, Fatu, their first figures. The the, the packaging looks pretty nice. I dig Wait, it. can we talk about this? I think this is relevant right now. Uh, <coughs> Fatu, apparently great friends with Super Gabby. Oh, Have you been seeing this? Have we? T- we've talked about that before. <laughs> we've, 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 we've dabbled with this. Okay, well, they... they- Super Gabby posts on a lot of videos. Well, he, watches the, he watches the Gabby vlogs. He yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure told me and Broski that, and I was like, holy shit. Well, they were hanging out this weekend. <laughs> I, I absolutely love that. And then these are more titles from MLW. Looks cool. Yeah. Everyone can use more titles. These are shipping now. Shipping now. It's uh, yeah. six different is there, titles. <clears throat> is there cup. a min on card photo of this? Or? That, that, that's how they come packaged. It's like a, it's like on a tray. Mm, what? Okay. I don't understand how you can package that. Hmm. Like in a box, though, right? Uh, maybe, but that's all they've shown thus far in terms of like the packaging and stuff. So it's it's like on an open tray, and then these are the uh, Legends of Lucha Libre. Uh, I am Brilliance action dolls. I this before. I absolutely love that. Are these shipping? Is that why? Yeah, that's all. This stuff is all shipping now from BossFightShop.com. Oh, damn! They they pumped out some stuff then. It's really cool. I can't. I, I have to get that. It's really awesome. Just spent the whole cruise with her, so. Oh, very, very cool. them. Is that Lady Maravilla? Yeah, Lady Maravilla. Cool. Yeah. Uh, so there we go. Todd Pettingill shipping from Zombie Sailor Toys. Oh yeah, Smart Mark. You didn't even mention this, pal. I was going to bring it up at the end, but yeah. So he posted a picture in the group. Uh, I looked on his Instagram just now. He did not post this that that picture, so that was exclusive to the group. But we'll talk about it now. It's apparently in his driveway, right? He did the, the yes. pallets of the Smart Mark Sterling boxes were delivered. So, so got it loaded they, up in the storage unit. Then yeah, and they that, are already in the United States. So I guess it just depends on when he ships it out. I, I certainly this do is not a, have uh, it. fun time of year because everyone's trying to beat that Chinese New Year cutoff. Yes. It's either you do or you don't. You know, it's either you get a lot of stuff in or it takes a while. Yeah, but so, then you just know you have you know a three week kind of yeah silence on your stuff. You know, I I love this. But he Todd says, Johnny Gargano will be delivered shortly after Todd and Mark were having issues with Gargano's metallic paint. But then he showed well, up he pictures of the, he, he, showed he showed Gargano, so he's in, I think he's in too. And Gargano has yeah. two different boxes, which I didn't quite understand. Which he no sold the text where I literally asked him what the hell's going on. Yeah. It's a it's a one in ten. One one out of ten of the figures have the have the blue card. Well that sucks. I gotta track down two. Well, that's really annoying. <laughs> well, it looks great though. Hunt Johnny Gargano down in WrestleMania week to sign them both for me. Oh well guys, this I don't know where I broke this news. Where did I break this news, D? Did I just post Facebook it somewhere? Group. Oh, I just put it in the Facebook group. Facebook. But uh my newest merch table bendy. Because I have sold out of my Deathmatch King one. So this is still Deathmatch King. But from when I wrestled Bully Ray in the ECW arena, the one-legged tights, bloody. It was not, it's not a bloody variant. It's a bloody figure. So this is being worked on right now. And I hope to have it in Philly for Live 19 and WrestleCon. But there's no guarantee on that. But that that's the next um, next 
merch table exclusive. And like I said, like I'm almost all out of my current merch table one. So thank you guys for the support with that. They sold out quick. So D Freedom is showing this this picture of Chelsea Green. Um I think he's gonna I don't know what the news about this is. Well we saw all the new Mattels. I guess we're showing that it's not accurate completely, which whatever, I don't care. <laughs> like just I mean it is what it is. Like it's weird it's missing your color. color. Yeah. So I don't think Chelsea understands that. You know what I'm saying? Like she <laughs> probably she probably thinks she to has it. Explain it to her. Yeah, so she probably thinks that she has that. But yeah, if you look at if you look at the picture, it's clearly not the right color. It's like a multicolored gear. But yeah, we saw so many uh, Mattel reveals this week. We saw the the retros, which and we got the the pre order date on that, which is awesome. It's the Hogan. It's the big John Studd, the uh, Wendy Richter, the uh, Ali, and the ring. And the ring will have two stickers. Dude, I need to get, I don't know you, Brian, I need to get two rings and display with each sticker. So I don't display the ring, so I don't think I, my, I'll just keep the ring in the box. And I'll get it at a FOMO, but. Yeah, so I, I'll definitely be getting the rings for sure. I'll actually be getting, and the price point of the rings were great. I think it was like 25 bucks. Oh, baby. Good sauce. So. I might get, I might load up on those babies. Considering so. the current, the old ring goes for over a hundred easily. Oh, b- 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 baby, look at that ring! It just looks nice. It uh, looks the nice and clean. The box is clean, right? Looks really cool, but it's uh, it's clearly an old school '80s style ring, but it looks awesome. The the two stickers, like I said, it looks really really cool, really really pops. So I'm glad that the retros are back. I'm glad we're getting a ring. Okay, yeah, like the the big John Studd, the uh, Ali, the Wendy Richter, the Hogan. I love it. It's a perfect set. It was I a totally cooler set it. than I thought it was going to be, yeah. Yeah, I'm a big fan of it. Yeah, I don't know if we need to see every single picture, but there's my, there's my, I'm at Ali holding that microphone, that trademark microphone. <laughs> oh, yeah, big promo guy. Oh, yeah. I didn't even think of that. That's weird, right? Yeah, that kind of sucks. I mean, he... he he is known for his press conferences and talking and stuff, just not yeah, really he's wrestling. Be a ref. Why does he? He's not an announcer. It doesn't make, it makes no sense. Yeah, yeah. I guess he's added value parts. is just weird because the microphone comes it's out. Like, yeah, it's it would look a little strange hand. without the microphone. It would so. just be a C grip. Yeah, yeah. every actor ever's had one. It's just a twisted up. Maybe that's what the thinking was. Mm. Arm well, is raised. I'll be getting all of them. We saw these new uh, Mattel basics. Uh, Sami Zayn, Tiffany, the Big Red Machine, Kane, um, Kaiser, and Gunther. Looks great. I'm sure that Gunther is going to be a hot seller. Sami Zayn and his, his uh, I guess, WrestleMania I1 champion. It's like, I don't, that's a weird outfit, I think, to choose. Like the champions t shirt, those shitty the, the sh- Owens, champion shirts. The Owens in the next. Yeah, oh, yeah. How they have the, yeah, the, the molded t shirts. A little bit yeah. of an odd choice, but whatever. Yeah. But these are all uh, in. Like these are all shipping now, I believe. At least That's the pre-orders Lu- did for Ringside. Ludwig's uh, first figure, correct? Oh, yeah, and he's and he's got two, and Tiffany's first figure as well. Cool. The cane looks awesome. It's that that hardcore cane. This is probably my favorite version of cane, but I have the elite, so the I won't be getting it. But it looks awesome. Man, what a difference this line has become! I absolutely love it. They've turned it only into took, real only took six years of uh, debauchery to get to get you know. <laughs> We saw pictures for the next basics, which is Roman Reigns. Um, Roman Reigns looks good. Get the tattoo everywhere. Got the the big glove. So I did get. I mean, the Tribal Chief. You got to get the Roman Reigns. Kevin Owens. <laughs> oh, the matching KO. That makes it a lot better. Yeah. So the the matching. <gasps> you know, I just bought this shirt off WWE Shop after WrestleMania. Looks cool. I guess it's kind of. Uh, this is the first the time big- I think. Since this change in the basics, that this just kind of looks like an old school bait, like a you know, right, yeah, missing missing some deco for sure. So like, it's like why attempt it then? You know, this is the Shayna Baszler with the the face paint looks cool, but D there, yeah, All it's right. lagging still. Oh, what and I read? thought I thought this is Giovanni Vinci. I figure. thought this guy's likeness, at least in these photos, looks a little off. It looks like a Ryback head. There. I literally yes. thought it was Ryback. I was like, well, what is happening? Eyes are misprinted, so. Yeah, so mm. maybe, hopefully it's just a bad print or a bad photo. And then 
Brett the Hitman Hart is the the chase. This is like an old school '80s Hart Foundation, and then there's a um, another version of the Hitman. I guess there this could be like a singles version of Brett. Maybe it's Hart Foundation as well. But these were both done in the old school basic, right, D? Uh, yeah. This one, uh, the 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 chase with the with the heart that I think that was done in a SummerSlam, and then the uh, standard pink. I think that was a Royal Rumble Heritage for 2012. Got it. They look cool. We saw updated photos of the Hogan, the the best of ultimates. He's got the butterfly dress. He's got the Hogan tan. Looks incredible. And then Charlotte, just you know, re released. Nothing's different about her, I don't believe. Wait, that Hogan's different. Yeah, he's tan. Yeah, it's got an updated torso. It's got that uh, Ultimate Edition Wave Thirteen Hogan torso. God damn it! I love it. It looks way better tan. It looks fucking mm, beautiful. I know, but I gotta make a little switcheroo there now. So I'll, I will definitely be getting that, but the Charlotte I'm going to pass on. But that Charlotte figure goes for a lot of money. The, the first <laughs> like a one, a lot so, of money. Yeah, a lot of money. So Mackenzie I guess, wanted it, and I was like, "Come on, this is your second chance to get uh, the Charlotte figure." This is a, is that Ray Mysterio? Was a, Ray Mysterio with a towel? What was that? Because <laughs> the towel, like the towel. Yep. <laughs> what <laughs> is this? Patent a towel? Ray? What is this Ray? Like what is this? I don't know what this is. It's what the fuck takeover. is this? I was voted in a takeover. What is it? What does it say on the box? What two thousand two SmackDown Ray? WWE debut SmackDown two thousand two. No, I don't no. think that's his debut. Does it mm, says on the box. Did, did, didn't he wear? Maybe he did wear red. I thought he wore white. Oh, but oh maybe, maybe I'm not red. sure. Winner WWE debut SmackDown two thousand two. Oh, okay. Then I might. Okay, there's some historical significance. Now these this, these are great, man. That bulldog uh, is unbelievable. Yeah, this line is just. This the, I'm a little the, scared that it's <clears throat> scaled down to three figures already, but yeah, this is the superstars that, line. Never a good sign. It's it's Kane. This is what is like weird to me. It's because like I don't know. They keep including this goddamn cape that he never actually wore, <laughs> but I guess it makes <laughs> it more toyetic. It makes yeah. it more toyetic, and they're they've like they really go out of their way to try to put soft goods with his line. So, that but makes my sense, compl- but. my complaint is if he did wear because he did, there is photos of him wearing the cape at like a, a, a in the original show, outfit, not this in the outfit. original outfit, yeah. not this outfit. Yeah, so it makes it's no fine. Sense. Trust it me, makes no right. sense. But it's a yeah. it's a cartoon kind of style figure line, so I dig it. The big red machine cane. Uh, also in the set, Muhammad Ali. I thought for sure was going to be a referee, so they they got me. Boxer Ali. I like what? Who? Uh, I don't know. I mean, that, he can do that pose. It's pretty cool. I think it's cool. No Glove need hands. for it, but I'm yeah. forced to buy it because I'm a completist of these. You still and, are, huh? Yeah. And last but not least, the British Bulldog, David Boy Smith. Love this figure. Has the dreadlocks. Has the cape. It looks really, really cool. And he's jacked AF. So, so good. Unbelievable. That's yeah. perfect. Really, really cool figure. I, I want a ring for these figures. You know, we got one for the retros. I want one for these for these superstars. I feel like if they could just redeco a retro ring and call it that, but yeah, yeah. And then D is showing us again these. I'm going uh, through retro these right figures. now. It's just at the end of the of the slide. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, but I, I'm super pumped for these retros. The pre order starting on MattelCreations.com. Make sure you get them. Support the retro line, please. For years we said we want retros. We finally got them. So let's support them and get more coming. So. Um, that's all I have for. Oh no, I don't. There's more news, guys. No, Jesus, plenty more. Uh, the hot mess, Chelsea Green, first time in the elite lineup. She's coming. Here's the Brock Lesnar. Uh, there's the um, Bronson Reed. The Brock has the 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 cowboy hat. He's got the uh, the denim. He's screaming. Brock Lesnar figure right there. We got the um, the Omas. Looks awesome. The Omas. Dylan. Hello, dude. Hello, hello, dude. Uh, <laughs> that's like, I guess his newer look because that's what he wore at Rumble, something like that. I yeah. just saw. I didn't realize he hadn't been on TV for a while. I, uh, hi, Dylan. <laughs> it's your favorite <laughs> WWE superstar, Omos. I know you've been training with Steve for your upcoming match. I know you're going to be ready. I know that you're going to win. Your brother, Kermit, and myself will be very, very proud of you. Um, best of wishes and stay true. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll never again. Your brother Kermit is the best line. <laughs> oh my god! Very cool. Oh very, man, very, very cool figure though. By the way, L A Knight. L A Knight. Don't love the head on this one, but that looks pretty good. It's all right. 
It's going to sell really well. Perfect yeah, timing for the first figure. So he's got the point, the LA Knight point, the microphone. Perfect figure for... Um, so There's we just see the... comparison to his basic there. Oh, yeah, Man, yeah. I think the basic kind of looks better in the head. Mm. Just my opinion. Yeah. yeah. Could, yeah. Ah. I like it. Yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> and then... There she is. Shelly's the hot awesome, mess. Dude. Chelsea Green. So Broski cool. was was very nervous one day that he <clears throat> that she wasn't going to have the hat because she didn't take the pictures with the hat. She but there did the still photo with the hat. There That's it is with point. the skirt. It's the blue. Um, the gear is kind of condensed because like she doesn't wear like trunks. Does that make sense? What do you like, mean? Like girls don't wear trunks. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? What like a man wear? wears like trunks, like underwear. Girls, yeah. but she's what do you call them? Bottoms. I mean, she's wearing... but no, but but they wear like they're almost like biker style. You know what I'm saying? But on this figure, it looks like trunks. You're saying so it's the cut of it, right? So like on the on the figure, it's missing so much designs because there should be more so material. You're saying like the ball joint of the hip should have a little more design to make it look like that. Yes. If that okay. am I am I making sense? Yeah, yeah. So like some of the the designs are just cut off and not there because. You know, like, and they might have been doing that for all the girls, but I don't like study the girls' figures, just my wife. <laughs> yeah, you know, I was say, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I like. But, um, obviously, this head is so much better, and the hair, like, yeah, the hair on her first figure, like you said, was that one time thing. Yeah, it's a one time thing. So it just lived on in that figure, but this is a more evergreen look of Chelsea. I, too. I think it looks great. Yeah. So and there's, I, if you you can see the, I guess it's a little bit longer the trunks. Right. Right. So it's like a combo. It's maybe not quite biker shorts, but it's yeah, not. I, I see what you're saying, but I don't even know how they would execute that. No, I don't right. know either. I don't know yeah. either. I, I'm very excited for her. And I think she has the shh tattoo on her finger. I saw in some of the pictures. So I don't know if they were able to, if they actually have it saying shh, or they just put like a bunch of squiggly lines, because that would be so small. Right. But, oh. and then there's well, yeah, see it. There's something there. There's on something finger. there for sure. And then there's the chase. Which, like I said, it's it's missing something. It should have like green mixed in with the pink. Yeah, but. yeah. So if I'm a psycho, so I'm telling Chelsea that she should get gear made to match the figure. <sighs> hmm. You know what I'm saying? You would think very easy. Yeah. So there it is. The chase coming very very soon to ringside collectibles. This is so unbelievable. High. Perfect. A, a two in one. Executioner Terry Gordy, man, I absolutely love and need both of these. Especially hyped for this because I was under the assumption that this was an executioner figure that we were going to get like thrown a bone that it could be Gordy underneath and there'd be the head, right? But the fact that it's the other way around, it's like a Terry Gordy figure, and then all the goofy executioner stuff is there. Way better for me as a fan. I one hundred percent. I mean, obviously, it's a two in one, and I'll need two because it's two different significant characters and looks and errors but pretty awesome and then Super it's, cool. it, the, i was asking mattel about like the picture choice they use in the backs he has like a don wwf title yeah, uwf title, UWF title, title which is pretty it's wild right. you never see shit like that yeah. no <clears throat> especially as like the main picture you know what i'm saying yeah because usually like it's even if even if it's a wwf title they usually don't like, use usually a picture holding a title all the pictures are so photoshopped so it's kind of yeah my mind Here's my question to you guys. What do you think about this? Uh, they chose Terry Gordy for the box, right? Like, yes. wouldn't the executioner be more toyetic? Yeah, but like if a kid, a kid might, a yeah. kid doesn't know who Terry Gordy is and doesn't know who the executioner is. But wouldn't they pick the cool well, looking executioner? So he could still buy and open it and use that. You know, who cares? I know, but he, not, but he might not even fan, know. And like Terry Gordy's like a legendary wrestler. The executioner is not. Right. You know. Well, and I guess collectors would rather the Terry Gordy. Right. That's what, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So I think the right choice was made here to honor okay. Okay. Terry Gordy instead of the, the God, we were making fun of Uncle Cletus, executioner. What is that, like three times on television maybe or something? But, oh, bro, yeah. At least we, he, we, if, if you have a bone cruncher. He, does he have a have match? A, it doesn't matter. Executioner? If you have a bone cruncher, you, you need a Mattel Elite. But that's one of those fluky things in like toy history. I, I feel like he wrestled Undertaker at like um, the '97 in your house. He, they have like they full blown have a singles. I thought so. Okay. Maybe I'm incorrect. I know he comes down like helps bury him or whatever, right? Mm. Uh, Bronson Reed, look at that big meat. 
that big meat man, Bronson Reed. Looks cool. I dig it. Yeah. Very and it's like you said, this is a better figure than the other one because the other one was like tribute gear. This is more right. like regular yeah. Bronson Reed gear. I dig it. And even they got the they got the, the the glittery shine down on that soft goods jacket really well. I think there's like yeah. different tooling to it. I don't think that's the same. Really? I mean I had that figure, so mm, I'm not quite sure. From when he was an impact, but yeah, well. Right. So for the ringside collectibles news. We got new pre-orders, Elite 109 with Seth Rollins, Dominic Mysterio, Damian Priest, Nakamura, Cody Rhodes, and Bailey. Elite SummerSlam 2024. Man, I think I need all of these. Lex Luger, Undertaker, X-Pac, and Kane. New in stock, acclaimed, ringside exclusive, Survivor Series 90, Undertaker, and Gobbly Gooker. And Mattel showed new images this past week of Hollywood Hogan, Charlotte Flair. Elite 108 with Chelsea Green, Bronson Reed, LA Knight, Brock Lesnar, Omos, and Terry Gordy. And coming in soon, I'm sorry, AEW on match eight with Malachi Black, Brody King, Buddy Matthews, Penta, and CM Punk. And up next is the ringside top 10. Top 10. This episode of the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast has been brought to you by Ringside Collectibles, the number one online retailer of WWE action figures. Go to wrestlingfigures.com and make a purchase. And when you do, Use discount code MAJOR at checkout to save 10%. Ringside Top 10. Brand new figures. How much do you spend? Ringside Top 10. 40 figures. Exhausting mailman. Ringside Top 10. Another sale in Sami Zayn's number one again. Ringside Top 10. Use code MAJOR for discount at the end. Number 10. Big Bum Bum Bum. Elite 105. Number 9. Rhea Ripley. Elite 102. Number eight, Survivor Series 1990, Undertaker and Gobbly Gooker. Number seven, L.A. Knight, Elite 108. Number six, The Acclaimed. I'm surprised that's not higher up. Five, mm. The Usos, Bloodline, Ultimate Edition, Ringside Exclusive. Number four, Dominic Mysterio, Elite 105. Number three, Three Faces of Foley. I love that one, Elite Three Pack. We talked about that last week. Uh, number two, Logan Paul, Elite Top Picks. And number one. Cody Rhodes, Elite 101, the man who won the Royal Rumble two times in a row. My bud, Cody Rhodes, happy for yeah, him. Yeah, congrats. Pretty crazy. Um, hopefully he finishes the story. Wins the Striz app. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. And Broski, I have a prediction. We never do this. Okay. Uh, but I have a prediction next week. Yeah. I think... Uh, that we're going to see Matt and Brian on the ringside top 10. I do think so as well. And we'll talk about that. We'll talk about that. Why, uh, why we think that in a little bit, but when Brian gets back, we will go to weekly purchases. Let's do it. Let's go right now. I think, you know, I think he'll just be back when we get there. All right, let's go to weekly purchases. All right, guys, if you didn't know, now you're going to know. Matt and I have started our own toy line. Major Bendies are here. Assortments of modern-day superstars and the legends. And we've even expanded with the Big Rubber Guys. That's right. We have Major Bendies. We have the Big Rubber Guys, just like those LJNs from your childhood. Every month, we have new Major Bendies, new Big Rubber Guys, and now we have licenses like Jay and Silent Bob. So check out all these figures over on MajorBendies.com. Some might cost a little. Some might cost a lot. But I'm the thousand dollar broski. And your figures will be bought. <laughs> Alright guys, welcome to Weekly Purchases brought to you by Major Bendy's. 
Big week for us over on MajorBendies.com. And, of course, use the hashtag MajorBendies on social media. If we choose your picture or video, you will get an exclusive Major Bendies magnet. This one comes from at the Giant Cassat. Ooh, yeah. Hashtag Major Bendies. This is nice. The Macho Man is shipping. Fans are receiving them. I have not gotten mine. Um, it wasn't there for when you landed today? It was not there. You drove, drove in. Do you have one? I, I do, but it's already... It's in display in a case out of the way. It's uh, it's in my storage unit for safety. The mineral car. Oh one. damn! And so wow. Macho Man Randy Savage. I'm trying to do uh, bigger and more rubber things. Ooh, I'll talk about the Macho next week when I get it. But talk about these, Brian. Big rubber guys. <laughs> I can't, guys. I'm so. So they're shipping this. officially. Series three. We made the deadline. Shipping in d- January, and we did it. Woo! The Ashley Schiff boy. BMW. Woo. Yes. Hell of a uh, flare. Big Rubber Guy Series 3 in the mail today. My little great friend, Knick, sent them to me. I'm so oh, hyped. Man. He's been working like a psychopath to get these to you guys. Shipped. Marty Janetti, Sergeant Slaughter, Ric Flair. Slaughter, which I don't know if we made apparent enough, is, was supposed to be in 1985 LJN. Bro, well, it's supposed to be in Series 1. Series 1, and we lifted the entire <laughs> design. Like This isn't even like something that came from the brain of TTD. This is the true yeah. meant-to-be LJN that we made in reality. So. Un-freaking-believable. <laughs> yeah, Marty Jannetty, the Ric Flair. And guys, these aren't going to be like the Bendies, so we're not like going to be <laughs> repainting these a bunch of times. I'm not saying there's never going to be a repaint here and there. <laughs> Deep these internal discussion ones. about repainting a couple things that... Yeah, usually cooler heads prevail. We haven't. It's not happening because I, I kind of, uh, not kind of. I want these to gain secondary market value. I want people to fear of missing out, FOMO style. You know, like so. I want these to. I don't want to be. Oh well, I'll just get the the repaint of the flare and the in the dress clothes. Well, no, you got to go on eBay and get it for a lot of money. We gave everyone a fair chance to order it. You know, it wasn't. We didn't limit these. We gave everyone two weeks. Now we're giving everyone a month. So even more time. <sighs> it's just but one of those things. I haven't got you're, mine yet. You're literally growing with us, right? You know, you're a fan of this show, so you get a heads up. But, you know, we're trying to reach people who have no clue that we were even making toys, you know? So. Right. I guess knowing is one of the benefits so it's just, of being on the ground floor, right? And just I think perfect timing for us that these are going to get in collector's hands. And they go, oh, shit, I better not miss the, ha- the Hacksaw Magnum. And the Matt and Brian and demolition. Missed, and you already missed Macho Man and Andre and the Bulldogs. And Bulldogs. Yeah, so I mean, things are uh, happening, dude. And I, th- I think this is the, obviously ours were cool. Um, it was a, a test run, basically. Demolition's super cool. Flattering that, that, you know, they would give us a shot. We did it. Big reaction. I think when these reach people, that's like, the big leap for the big rubber guys. You know what I mean? I agree. I think it's a change the figure game. Very, very excited for that. Uh, I got a bunch of other retro figures in the mail. I got from Epic Toys. I got the Demolition. So they, they finally came out, the Axe and Smash Demolition. So these are the ones that have like the magnet heads. So it's like... How's, does it work very seamlessly or... It's very, like, I'll do it right now. So here's Smash right here. You know, in the entrance gear, you take the head off, you put on the magnet head, and it's fine. You know, it's a magnet, so it stays. But if you were playing with this thing, the head would pop right off. You know? Yeah, but, but no, but no one's playing with this. I don't like, think that's a, a kid, thing, yeah. If this, was, if this was made as a Hasbro, it would have been a disaster. But since these are... 30 years later, and it's meant to be an adult collectible, no one's going to have that issue. But you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? If the, if the Hasbro decided to do the magnet head in 90, 91, it would have been a disaster. Yeah. But I dig it. I, I The the axe and smash look awesome. Um, it's a just, I don't know. What do you, like, so what's your plan with those? You have, like, a... I, co- I collect all retros. I, I'm not a completist, but the, I get the ones that I like. I also got the Powers of Pain from Epic. Powers of Pain, I I really like. They have soft goods. I kind of wish it didn't come with the soft goods. I don't like the soft goods that's on here, but I'm not going to take it off. But it's Warlord and Barbarian, the Powers of Pain. They're good. They're really cool. So 
Epic has been people, doing a great I mean, job been, recently. People have been pretty thrilled with them, the Headbanger, so on the up and up. Yeah, so I, I, I dig them. I'll display them, I'm sure. Not sure what I'm going to do with Demolition because, I mean, I have the originals, the Hasbros. But I wanted to get them and, you know, check them out and see how the uh, the magnet heads really, really worked, if it did work well. I also got for Mitch, I got Oscar. Oh, she also bringing me a tea. Thanks, babe. I appreciate that. Uh, here's Oscar. I I love it, man. I fuck- Greg Gerard? <laughs> bro. <laughs> My favorite wrestler, Greg Gerard. I, I, bro, it's a, it's a nice I, I figure. Absolutely, I absolutely love it, dude. I really do. I think it really yeah, looks like it has, it bro. It's a great yeah. execution. My only complaint about it is that the microphone is the size of like a Jackson Mattel microphone. You know what I'm saying? So it's like too right. big. But, uh, to be fair, even the Mattel retro microphone is like pretty ginormous, right? Okay, true. And actually, I think I it like is it. the isn't it the elite microphone sometimes that they, that they use? Oh, it might be. For but I, guy? I I really like it. He's a little shorter. Goes perfect with your your men on a mission. And then I got the Duke, the dumpster Drosy, and with the trash can, he used he used metallic paint for the outside of the trash can, which I appreciated. Okay, but nice. everything is molded in flesh color, so like the inside of the trash can is flesh. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's a little weird. It was very it's a little weird. weird. A little so, kind of creepy, actually. <laughs> a flesh trash can. I do like this a lot more than the Godwins, but there's just something. There's just something off about these Mitch figures. Like the detailing, it's too soft. Um, I, I I I just don't know how to describe it. The face on what? dudes are like just not the same as the body. I can't explain. Right. I don't know what it is. Like it's just everything looks kind of like not defined, and I know I don't mean like muscular. I mean like all the like the lines, like the. It's kind of like the there's one Instagram filter that that girls put on their face to smooth things yeah. out. That's kind of like yeah. what it is. Like it just seems like everything is kind of smoothed out. I just wish like it doesn't have like the Hasbro shine. It's a, obviously a different material. On a shelf, it'll look great. Squint your eyes, looks great. Squint your eyes you, is a great collection. <laughs> but when you no, but. And I like that he's making these obscure guys. I really do. So I support it. I'll be getting it. I got the Duke. It's cool. <clears throat> but I don't know what he would have to do to really improve the line. I think just maybe use like better material, better paint maybe. But it looks good. The Oscar not, is definitely not, my favorite. Not 3D over the Duke. print them or something. Yeah. Well, we still don't know exactly how he's making these because there's no way it's like steel yeah. molds. There's just no way. In my opinion, D, what do you think? Without completely burying Mitch. Uh-oh. Oh God, here we he go. He says no. He shakes his head. No. He oh, says man, no. You open okay. up the floodgates. Yeah. That yeah. Okay. Uh, um, well, hey, I mean, you these... guys, are you, we're not going to talk about your figures. I mean, I'm very excited to hear we're your just, opinions. I thought we were going to main event with that. I thought event. we were main event with that. Okay. Um, uh, I, so I I got the uh, I got the crates there. Finally, you want to you want me to yes! talk about those? Yes. Right. It's only been three years. All right. This is it. This is it for me this week anyway, too, so let's do it. Right here, boys and girls, we have the Major Crate, number three, am I right? Number three. Number three, that's crazy. I still number think three. there might be a handful left on uh, ProWrestlingTees.com. Great boxes. Uh, love it. Love the logos. I appreciate it. It's got all of our logos on it. Little smart mark logo there. I did like the Brian on the beach. My my wife was like, "What what is going on with that?" And I was like, "Those are the towels." <laughs> um, okay, so Hot here we go. Towels. I'm opening it for the first time. Well, I've seen this because I've seen multiple major marks with this shirt on. Yeah. Okay, we've got the Chippendale shirt. I love that They've shirt. Been a big reaction to that shirt. People love that yeah. shirt. Okay. Uh, sorry, Chippendale Rescue Rangers shirt. Rescue yeah, Rangers. Definitely have to clarify that. The Micro Brawlers. We've got Hawkins and Ryder Micro Brawlers. No chase. The chases, I'm looking for them. It's the Brett and Brian Majors. I'm looking for them. Okay. I need them. We've got ourselves a Deathmatch King first aid kit. In here, you will find... <laughs> Yourself a uh, triple uh, antibiotic ointment, guys. You know, you need that guys, in the hotel room. 
What's my EC, using that in real life, by the way? I, I swear to God, when I use the EC3 deathmatch, that's what I used to, to clean myself up was the was the kit. Well, you got bandages here. Uh, okay, so there's that. All right, we have ourselves a belt. We have an FWF championship belt. That's the interstate title. Put that on your major bendy Put that on baby. your Heath, man. We have a Zack Ryder or and Kurt Hawkins sticker. Really cool. Major pot. That's right. It's of the uh this one's cool. Do not disturb scratch. It's, it's do not my, disturb. Yeah, it's on my door right now. Scratching yeah. that figure itch. I'm gonna put this on my door as well. I have it on mine too. We have ourselves a tattoo. Brian's tattoos, Madison and Mackenzie. Put them on your arm. Put those on and wore them to school. And the teacher texts my wife about it. Really? Well, just wondering what was going on. (sighs) Luckily, she knew that it was my tattoo. The Smart Mark Sterling Law Offices of Smart Mark Sterling logo on my first AEW shirt in pin form. There it is. We have. Right here, the Let Them Breathe. We've showed this on the podcast. Oh, already. yeah. Box cutter. You I need love that. One. that. I literally use it every day. Multiple times a day. Uh, and then I'll open this right now to show you it. We got a Stang blow up bat. <laughs> Inflatable bat. <laughs> you need that. <laughs> don't do it. It's going to take a while. Oh, don't do it. Yeah, don't do it. <laughs> I mean, trust me. I did two for my kids. I was almost passed out. <laughs> All right, and last but not least, we have the interstate champion, Heath, 8 by 10 man. Oh, baby. So that's- Oh, baby. That is the major crate, finally, guys. If if you like it, there's still a few available, apparently. Um, the Micro cannot Brawlers be, make it worth it. Uh, anyway, and I'll real quick, I'm going to go through the, the, the other crate. Now- now, one thing, you guys, if you if you enjoy the crate stuff, Pro Wrestling Tees no longer doing monthly crates. They will be doing bi-monthly crates. Whoa. I didn't know but that. But two brawlers, right? Two, two, so, so every I'm, – so I'm sorry if I said that incorrect. Every two months you will get a crate. So there's going to be six crates a year, not 12. Yeah, but well that's, that's, that's definitely news. However, are they coming? Are they coming with two brawlers? Right? Yes. However, they still will be coming with two brawlers, so you still get twelve brawlers a year. Interesting. Right. Yeah. Right. So this is the last crate of the every month here. Okay. Wow. So first thing, Broski, you're gonna like this shirt. This one's really what cool. What we got? Oh shit! Macho what? Man, retro, vintage. That's something Damn. that I would wear. Yeah, as I said, that's, that's cool. Word. I like. The, I like the gray too. We have. An Eddie Edward Kingston shirt. Like, what does that say? Eddie Kingston got it. You know, we the have a. It's cool. You better bundle up. I said, don't work. It's cool. This I didn't really. This is a Vader lapel pin. Looks like. Uh, oh, but it's both Darth Vader's. Vader. Oh, that's cool. Pretty cool. Here's the Haku. Oh, guys. Oh, this is not the chase. Well, it looked like the chase from the picture, but no, it's not. Hey, it's not. Gotta have a sticker, babe. Okay. I I, I need that Haku. King Haku. uh, We have a House of Black sticker. We have Legion of Doom socks. What a rush. Hey, hey, every day to the gym, I wear big wrestling socks. I'm adding this to the rotation. Do they fit? Remember, I couldn't get those pimple ones on my feet. The the, the acclaimed ones are impossible. Oh, Oh, those ones too. Yeah. 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 Uh, we have this random DVD here pushing the PWG. Got Chuck Taylor and uh, that guy that wrestles good on it. Zack Sabre Jr. Zach what Sabre year Jr. is that? Yeah, sorry. Sorry. And then last thing. That in here. guy that wrestles good. That was a Mark Alltimer. Here you go. Ali. Oh, that was quick. Fresh on oh. the indie scene. Broski, when are you wrestling him? <laughs> yeah. How many matches have lined up with him? Uh, none right now. Yeah. I would work him, but he he's got to recognize that I'm the president of the independence. So <laughs> he's he hasn't do he's not doing his homework, pal. He Ooh, called boy. your ass out right away. Yeah. Well, I mean, all right. So that that you. was it there. King Haku got, in the uh, got a couple a couple of things before this big main event uh, from Ringside Collectibles. I got that basic uh, Miz in the suit, so I can make my Smart Mark Sterling custom with this <laughs> still Mark Cochran head. Oh, there it is. Yeah. So I got to still find the right hands for it, but. 
The head doesn't quite fit on right. You got to like super glue it or something. Yeah, definitely. I use that little putty in there. Yeah, those oh, the heads putty? don't okay, fit. Do I mean, that's just a three D printed head. It never, none of mine fit correctly. They just yeah, kind of hang. Right. Hang there. Is, yeah, right. But it looks really great. Like I said, Mark Cochran does the heads. And yeah, I was hopeful that Smart Mark was going to have an AW Jazzers by now, but he <laughs> hasn't. So I had to break down and get a custom uh, for the time being. But I got to find some pointy. Fi- I think that that Austin Ultimate has the pointy finger hands, right? Yes, and I purposely, Broski, just so you know, yeah, I, at, I purposely on television at one point wore that exact suit combination just so that I That's could great. say I that it. that uh, fake figure is accurate. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> that was nice of you. Yeah. Um, I also got this Chelsea Green PSA graded card. This is a 2018 Stardom. It's a mint number nine Chelsea Green. Um, I showed it to her today. She didn't give a fuck. <laughs> and speaking of cards, uh. on the Jericho Cruise, there were packs of cards, right? And then there wasn't every set. You know, not everyone in the set was in the packs. So you had to keep open. Brown was texting packs. me about that, and I was like, oh. I'm sure it's just all the same shit. He goes, no, they're different. It's I was not like, ooh, that's, in- that's interesting. So I made a deal with a great major mark to get my Matt Cardona card. Uh, nice. Fun facts. Fun facts. Matt hosts the major of your podcast, alongside longtime friend Brian Myers. Right. Matt won the yeah, inaugural Oceanic like Championship. <laughs> yeah, aboard Chris Jericho's Rock and Wrestling Rager at Sea, for the Clover. And then, of course, I got the 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 brawler. The the talked about micro brawler, I got it. I wheeled and dealed for it, but I got a Chris Jericho five alive edition. Really, really cool. I like I like when not just wrestling stuff, but like what what am I looking for? Like incentive to go to something. You get exclusive merch. Like this is something cool, you know, that will like you're gain make, some value in the secondary man. market. Making memories. Yeah. But so I got that the the cruise uh figure and the cruise uh card. Sweet. Uh, real quick, I went and visited the Taskmaster this past weekend in the morning, courtesy of K&S WrestleFest. He was there signing, so I got my heels and faces signed, checked my social media. Big post of that. He even took a picture with me, and he smiled, which apparently is a very hard thing to get. And then my new project. I put this in, Uh-oh. I put this in the group, and everyone's like, you don't have those? I'm like, of course I have them. Uh, there's a nice picture of me and the Taskmaster hanging out. Uh, and my beautiful signed heels and faces. But... I, can you, I don't know. I scheme in one day. ECW Magazine, Volume 1, with Taz on the cover. Yeah. I'm going to get an autograph. There's only six editions of the ECW Magazine. I have them all stored away, literally from when I was a kid. I don't want to mess with those, so I re-got these. Lance Storm, on the cover of Volume 2. Going to yeah. grab him at TNA, get that signed. Justin Credible, Magazine 3, on the cover. I'll see him soon at WrestleCon, I'm sure. My boy PJ. RVD, I see him all all the time. He's on cover number four. Get that signed. Raven is on the fifth edition. Uh, of course, Scotty's one of my best buds. I get that signed when I see him soon. And then I'm missing the last one, which has Sabu on it, which I want to get signed. So That's cool. Would you that, hang them up? Yeah, I realized, okay, wait, there's six covers, six guys. They're all still living. Just something I wanted That's to get actually done. That's actually badass. That. Yeah. Now, are you just going to put them in the frames or get them slapped? Yeah, once it's all done, I'll do something like that. Yeah, and, you know make it nice but that's just a project that came up in my mind i want to get done if you have that last uh magazine with sabu in the cover hit me up i'll make it worth your while because there's none on ebay i don't know why pretty damn Love cool it. man yeah you get anything else i did not i'm ready for the main event i guess i guess it's now time for the main event they're finally here ladies and gentlemen super seven major podcast series two Brian Myers and Matt Cardona. We were a little worried about him. We talked about it on the pod. A little. I will say this, holding it in hand. I've been very fortunate to have a lot of wrestling figures of myself in my career. But as of today, this is my favorite one by far. I absolutely love it. I wore this gear three times against Brian at Impact, against Big O at FWF, against Tyrus for the NWA title. I'm not quite sure I'll ever wear it again. Maybe one last time since the figure is out. Right. But, man, the, the deco hits, everything about it. I absolutely love my How easy is all the entrance stuff to... So easy to come off. Um, so easy. By the way, anyone you know who's curious, there's full-blown unboxings of these on our YouTube channel. Available now. I did one. Yep. Matt did one. In-depth as you can be. Live reaction to opening this. 
Super 7 was kind enough to overnight these to us. We got them today. Yeah, these are Sweet. some sort of sample. Did you realize that, Brian? Like, there, it's not like it wasn't taped. I know. You know I, well, as I was unboxing, I had my let them breathe thing. And I went, hmm. yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, I'm gonna, not going to display this. I'm going to keep it all intact and keep it separate until, you know, the real deal comes in. But this is what they said yes to. So, it shouldn't be different. Right. Um, I was so blown away by mine. Like, even on the back, um, like the always ready on the trunks, it's like, it's you got you to see it in person. It's like raised up like it's stitched on. It's not like a flat like cool. decal. It's like really, yeah. really good. And the tan um, is impeccable. <coughs> That's another thing. Yeah, I have a different skin tone. I did comparisons if you see it with my Wave 1 and the Wave 2. Like yeah. the improvement on my, uh, the paint application on my faces on all three are just way better, much better improved. Like the likeness is so much better in my opinion. Um, there's a lot of fun stuff. I just lifted the uh, the hood feature. If you can see here, like this is the hood down, like as if I'm just chilling in my entrance jacket, and it's got like little hooks in there. If you can kind of yep. see those, and it just kind of grasps underneath, and you can do hood up. And that was a idea that I lifted from AJ Styles Elite, but uh, I gotta say, Super Seven kind of made it their own. It's a little different. It doesn't like clip in like a Mattel, but it's like just it. as fine. You know, it's the same yeah. shit. But pretty freaking awesome. The middle fingers, the, the, mat, the middle fingers are great. Goddamn, really gives this an edge. You know, so I, good. I, t- the only thing I was disappointed with, and then I swear to God, Matt and I had no knowledge of this. No one said that the front of the packaging wasn't going to be metallic like it was last time. Like no foil. The foil hit on this, which we just assumed it would be, but it was never brought right. to our attention. But right. also, at the end of the day, like. Okay, you meet us, anyway. we sign this, no one keeps this, no one displays it like this, really. Right, so it's right, kind of right. like an added little nice feature, yes. if anything. Right. It doesn't really matter at the end of the day. Uh, but again, these were comes, more expensive, so, you know. Yes, they were. But mine comes with the, the internet title. This is the first time this title has been made. Uh, I know like Forbidden Figurines made one, but like this is a real company which is really really cool and what i really loved about it the most and i didn't even remember like asking about this the back has purple like how mine has the purple oh, leather that's cool so it's like really really great i did a great job um i absolutely love these figures so much i man i can't get enough of them so cool the entrance gear on mine like if you if you're looking right now look at all those deco hits it's like an insane bro even like at the top like the splatter paint the spikes yeah, so like, you were got- concerned, and we've talked about this. We talked about it many times. We had uh, we had the Super Seven um, with with Flynn on the podcast. You asked some questions. <laughs> you can look that up. It's yeah. on YouTube for sure. Um, here. And yeah. it was a lot about. We learned about Deco and 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 the, the what the tempo was. He kept talking yeah. about the Tamp- the, the tempo hits. Mm. Uh, yeah. And you were concerned, and you've been concerned now for two years about the um, paint splatter. Um, yeah. I mean, that's you're, a, you're we've covered it so many times. It's a, it's a combination of things, though, because like Super Seven said, "Hey, we want to do a repaint series," and we said, "Sure," and they said, "Whatever you want." So we picked what we wanted. They said, "Okay," to everything, and then like less than 24 hours before the pre-order, they were like, "Oh, it's too expensive to do Broski's Deco," and we're like, "Well, you guys had plenty too of time late to now, tell us pal." This. <laughs> but it's great. I mean, from what yeah. I'm looking at right now, I don't have it in my hand, but it looks great to me, right? Dude, so it was, like, worth, it was worth the wait to get it done, whatever they did to do it, but. Yeah, this is by far my my greatest figure, my favorite figure. Like, it just like even like they did the hands, like how I'm, I'm, I used my fucking hands in the picture. Like this looks like if you see a studio photo, this is exactly how it looked. Um, just like the splatter. Like it's, look at the hits all over the boots, and they got the tattoo. It's just they really nailed it. I can't wait to get the Brian. They will be shipping very very soon, guys. But thank you for being patient. And we said it before. We know the numbers on this. Not a lot of these ordered. So I do one believe that they will. fifth the amount of wave one. Wow. Yeah, will so, exist. That's do, not a lot. I do think there's not going to be a lot out there. And shout out. I mean, we could get a live update. I don't know if you guys want to do it or I'll do it. Ringside Collectibles still has them up for pre-order. I would I jump on that now. Discount code major. And I mean, that could sell out like. The way they I sell literally, it, you, know. you you had stepped away, Brian, but I said I predict, based on this unboxing and this podcast here, I predict that next week, uh, you guys are going to be in the ringside top ten. I mean, there's people and, who watch my unboxing and say, "Oh man, you sold me," which made me feel good. You know, that, yeah, lots yes. of people said that. Yeah, 
And listen, I don't want to sell you on buying three figures, but I think you need to get two mats because even for me, what? it's like I think you got to display it like this with the hands, oh, like the claw yeah. hands, with the tongue out. But then I think you need to take all the deco off, hold the internet title, and do that middle finger pose. You I know, mean, just fucking. I was gonna say, what about getting it signed? Oh God! And I, the other thing. You know, to nitpick, and this is our fault completely. I wish we would have had the figures posed in the package, but we. I know we, you we said that, that, but mine looks pretty like cool. It just looks like a toy the way that you know. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't look bad. It's just like our series one are in our cool poses, and these are just like arms down, generic. Right. Yeah. So I wasn't. That's I my was only. Yeah. Upset about well, it, you know. Whatever. If I could have changed it in retrospect, I probably would have. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I, right, well, I was so pleasantly surprised with this today, thrilled. So, yes. Well, I'm too. looking forward to getting mine. Uh, you need, you need two of me so you my... can get a. Oh, you need three of me because you need to put your Mark, Matt, and Brian in the official Major Wrestling Podcast chair. Well, we have. We already have Major Pad <laughs> chairs, technically. True, true, true. I don't want to throw that ringside one under the bus because I do love it. It's iconic, but this is. There's some good steel ta- chairs. A tampo hit on a steel chair. That one was just a sticker, right? <laughs> well. Ooh. Ooh, okay. I, like, I, like I was going to say, I, I'm looking forward to putting them into my Matt and Brian shrine back here. That you can see. Yeah, thank you. Man. Very, very cool. I appreciate that. <laughs> All right. I guess up next, Major Mark Purchases of the Week. Let's rock. All right. Major Mark Purchases of the Week. Here we go. Boys and girls, I'm pulling up the picture. Right now. All right, here we go. Dan Drain says, just got the new Macho Man Major Bendy, and I got to say, this is my favorite one because it fits right in with Series 1 bend-ups. Perfect, right? And that was the exact plan. Seamless is that. Yeah, that's so cool. (laughs) Because he was supposed to be in the set. We even got, I went and I bought the original sketch. We hired the original artist to draw the trading card on the back, and that was the card he was going to draw anyway. So it's as close to the real thing as possible. I absolutely love it, and they do go seamless, and now I'm 100% convinced that I need to find Series 1 Min on card to display. Really cool. And um, I'm looking at this picture. This guy clearly has one of those like Toy Store rooms with the pegs. I love it. That's I love it. Really cool. It's like... I don't want to say I regret not doing something like that, but that's something I'll always wish I kind of did. I, I was at, at, at my, so cool. I'm literally c- contemplating doing that with some of my Star Wars figures right, right now. Right, because then you can display them all and rotate them and it'll always yeah. feel fresh. I don't know. Yeah, I'm it's thinking def- about it. Definitely cool. Here we go. Zach Linder. Zach Linder. It doesn't get bigger than this. Brother, four items signed at his Clearwater Beach shop the day after Rumble. Hasbro Series 1, WCW, NWO, original San Francisco Toy Makers. Mattel Superstars Blue Gear Chase and 1985 Tops Rookie. The Hulkster couldn't have been nicer. Then we went down to block the, the block to Hogan's Hangout for Coconut Shrimp and a blackened grouper sandwich. Um, there you go. Linder get taller or Hogan get shorter? What's going on in this picture? I don't know. What's going on? <laughs> genius move by him to go and genius move for Hogan to host a signing the day after Raw Rumble. It's genius. Yeah. Hogan gets it. Hogan knows best. <laughs> All right, there you go. TNA. What is this? Whoa. Jamie what Willis. Is this? Iconic figure. Sorry, Chris G. Giovanni. Dixie Carter, autographed TNA figure. Since the TNA rebrand, I've been itchy for some older TNA figures, and I've always wanted this Dixie Carter figure in my collection. I checked eBay, and the cheapest figure was this autographed one. The box is beat up, so I'll probably let her breathe to sit and save the auto. That's hilarious. I have that figure loose in my FOMO bin just for fun. I, I as well do. Dixie rules. She's great. Jamie Willis, I got the Epic Toys British Bulldogs. These are uh, due for dispatch wow. very soon, but a few got sent as a final check before mass shipping. Uh, very happy how these turned out, and the improvement since the Chella days has been ridiculous. Yeah, definitely. Good for them. I think they look great. I don't think I pre-ordered those anywhere, so I'm just going to wait till they get released and, and pick them up somewhere. Yeah, looks great. All right, this is cool. Uh, Dan Chiasen, after a decade of searching, I finally purchased the final VHS to complete my Disney Channel original movie VHS collection. What? I nearly what? wept when I, when I slid it ever so Come. gently into the final open slot on my wall. With only a handful of Nickelodeon, t- Nickelodeon tapes left, my VHS journey is coming to an end. 
Perfect time to go hard on wrestling fix. Wow. It's pretty cool. I love that look. I'm, you know, obviously, I'm a big fan of VHS. Is all that stuff on Disney Plus? Um, a lot of them. I'm not, I'm not sure all of it is, but a lot of those movies. Early on in Disney Plus days, they were adding them as they went. So they I feel like finished. that's going to make you like really die hard if you're going to. If you could just watch it on a stream with two clicks. Oh, but nobody right. buys a VHS to watch it. You're just. I know, you're like, I know. Oh, I'm just saying. Like, but that would suffice my, like, you know, yeah. my itch, I'm trying to say. Right. Hmm. All right. Mandalorian. Dan Kurgan says this past October at the Winnipeg Comic Con, I had the opportunity to meet some of the cast from The Mandalorian. I wanted something for them to sign as a group to make a really cool keepsake. My main focus of collecting is comics, so I grabbed my issue of Mandalorian 1. To make things even better, a vendor was offering CGC submissions with signature witnessing. So I met Emily Swallow, the armor, the armorer, uh, Moff Gideon, uh, Captain Carson Tava, and got them all to sign the comic. Carl Weathers was also there, but his rate was three fifty. Yes, I got that. We talked about that. What? Yeah, I, that's uh, my figure. Cost three hundred fifty bucks. Connected it for me. Oh boy. Uh, for a premium item, so I just couldn't justify it. Well, premium finally came back. Item. Uh, it's a 9.8, or it's a 9.6. He would have loved a 9.8, but it is pretty good. So there it is. Pretty cool piece of your collection. Very cool. This man's in the chat right now. Chris Grocock says. Uh, oh, what God. do you do to get this? Major gift ski of the week. Brian recently gave away the rundown notes for Live 18 on his whatnot, and Robert Hosler Jr. won the giveaway. Once he received it, he immediately reached out to me and asked for my address to send it to me. Um, excited to have another completely unique item to commemorate my live 18 trip and huge shout out to Robert for being the definition of a good brother. Yeah. Damn. On, at the price of on the house. Very nice thing to do. Yeah. I'll make sure that I make one of those for live, uh, 19 live in Philly. You baby. like that? I wrote Mitch. He's going to do the Cardona bit that he royally ruined the punchline. And <laughs> Mitch Cardona bit. Yeah. Uh, all right, last one here. Michael Frias, top contributor to our Facebook group. He says, a uh, friend was selling this Beckett and Fitterman authenticated Mike Tyson signed glove at a price that was too good to pass up. Added a Tyson Funko Pop and a merch table pin from his fight versus Tyrell Biggs back in 1987 to create a mm. nice little display piece. I think Dude, it looks nice. And that's like a great investment. Right? I don't know if it's I a used that. mitt. I mean, glove mitt. Either way, it's a beautiful auto and a glove. Uh, I'm like, yeah. I think that's only going to appreciate in value. Yeah, it's pretty cool. That's one of those like uh, conversation pieces. I do. Pretty damn cool, man. All right, what's All right. next? Up next, the new segment, Snub Superstars. <laughs> All right, welcome everyone to Snubbed Superstars. Uh, in this segment, a, a hard foundation member chooses a toy line, and then we kind of name who was snubbed in that line. All right, uh, this is a unique one. Matt Gilraith wanted us to talk about a maximum sweat. Who should have got a maximum Ooh. sweat figure? I like this. <laughs> right off tip my tongue. X Pac. Okay, I think bang. They they make DX. They make Sean. They make Hunter. They make the Outlaws. Yeah, yeah. Man. I even think China. I think we could have got China. China for sure because she was in every line in every which yeah. way. So yeah, China X Pac. Hmm. It gets really interesting. The Maximus Sweat. The line lasts longer than you think when you. And there's some really good ones. In there's there. like big shows in it. Yeah. Okay, I got one. Okay. Val Venus. Yes. Hello, that ladies. Cool. Right. Is that sweat or is that something else? You don't know. Oh, oh right. my dirty, God. Dirty, dirty boy. You, you know what I'm saying? Dirty boy, Sterling. <laughs> man. Ah, oh, man. Who else could we have gotten? Because they, 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 it wasn't just uh, top, top guys. Honestly, you know, they made he was draws. over enough. Final four of the Rumble 99. D'Lo Brown. D'Lo? D'Lo Brown. Okay. That, I like the D-Lo. I just had some. Oh, Al Snow. Al Snow. What about Al Snow? And then there's Head, and the Head can do the squirt as well. Mm, good. <laughs> I like. This is fun. I, I love, I, I, 
I'd say I'd say Godfather's a, a borderline answer to that. Godfather, like they could have really made anybody who got like snubbed. Val Venus and X Pac you know? snubbed. I think Val Venus X Pac snubbed. God, there's even there's a big boss man, heel big boss man, right? Yeah, Shamrock, well, hardcore Holly. Hardcore Whole thing Holly. sucks. Chris Giovanni says Whole Christian. Thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah uh, but that's like nah. No. I'm gonna say no. Yeah. Like we're not saying if, 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 if it lasted like, another year, yeah, yeah. Not everyone they missed, but who they snub. Like they yeah. did make. Oh well, you know what? They did make Edge. Yeah, but that's like singles, like debut yeah. Edge. That's why I think Val Venus got robbed. Very true. Very fun, true. fun ass question. All right. Well, up next is the Q and A, brought to you by Baluchu. This episode is sponsored by Blue Chew. Guys, if you're feeling your age more than you used to, especially in the bedroom, it's time to snap out of it. Blue Chew is what you need to perform where it's most important and perform in a major way. Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, but in a chewable form and at a fraction of the cost. Blue Chew's tablets help men achieve harder, stronger erections to combat all forms of ED. Blue Chew is an online prescription service, so no visits to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations, and no waiting in line at the pharmacy. And it ships right to your door in a discreet package. The process is simple. Sign up at BlueChew.com, consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. The best part? It's all done online. Blue Chew's licensed medical providers work with you to find the right ingredient and strength for your prescription. Don't like swallowing pills? No problems here. Blue Chew's Sildenafil and Tadalafil tablets are chewable. Blue Chew's tablets are made in the USA and they prepare and ship direct, so it's cheaper than the pharmacy. So if you could benefit from extra confidence when it's time to perform, visit bluechew.com for more details and important safety information. And we've got a special deal for our major marks. Try Blue Chew free when you use our promo code MAJOR at checkout. Just pay $5 shipping. That's BlueChew.com, promo code MAJOR, to receive your first month free. And we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring the podcast. (laughs) Guys, I was on that boat for four days. Oh, Getting home to see my wife. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we. I, I drove from the port of Miami home with SDL. We got Cracker Barrel. I was taking my fish oils. I was taking my multivitamins. And you know what else I took? Some blue chew. I had to get home to my wife oh my and fucking satisfy her. Show her the internet just, champion really is. Show her that I'm always ready. Broken you know? Broski didn't need his hands to drive his car. He just used his, his, <laughs> his leg right. to get all the way home. He's <laughs> I made it. <laughs> proud, proud, I made it. Proud of you. I'm scared for Chelsea, but let's go. But use the hashtag AskMajorPod. If we answer your question on air, you'll get a prize this week. It's the exclusive Blue Chew Magnet. What do you guys got? My question, James E. Coach, Coacher. Cornette? James at, E. Cornette? <laughs> no, not your buddy. At the Lim James, who would be on your short list for Japanese talent for hashtag Major Bendy's. Hashtag ask Major Pot. It's mm. a fun question. Man. Jay White, Osprey. Stop. AJ Styles. Stop. I have one that I want to get in this line this year. I want oh, Maki Ito bad. I was going to say, Broski's been saying this for sure. I Which want Maki Ito bad. I'm down for uh, I want her to hold the pizza cutter. You know, I want a bloody variant. Yeah. For sure. Uh, I mean, Onita is one of my personal favorites like of that you know, got to smoke Maybe a cig. Cool. Yeah, it would make, and we could really yeah. make it fun with the bloody and maybe the cig. And oh, Chris Giovanni, great point. Yoshitatsu, bro, Broski's best friend. I right, don't guys, think so. It was a great episode. I'll, I'll see you. <laughs> I would Muda? love to do Muda. It would be Muda great. would be like a yeah. dream. You know, like it would be like a dream. Yeah, of course. Which I mean, I don't know what how that figure got made that we talked about last week, but who knows. Liger, oh, Demon X no. Dog to Man, Jerry Liger ACW would, line. Liger would look so good as Bendy, right? Liger would great, be great. Tajiri would be good. Tajiri would fit our extreme line and be super fun. 
And I wouldn't, I wouldn't would do be a, good. I wouldn't do a bloody variant of Tajiri. I would do a mist. The mist. Yeah, the mist. So well, guys, have you variant. have you contacted Okada? I believe he's a free agent right now. You gotta you gotta sign oh, him before he signs, he's right? Probably mad at me because I kicked the shit out of him in Las Vegas. So. Oh, true. I would love a Hakushi. It fits the time period. Oh, Masato God, Tanaka extra bendy. I want to do a Tanaka an awesome two pack, like bad because I've never oh. been. With put the scars together. on the body? Yeah, they've never been put together in anything. That's already something like Holy that. smokes, that would yeah. be great. Funaki? I'd like a Funaki. Fuck. Funaki would... <laughs> Indeed. Yeah. God, we could Very match cool. the Taka, though. That'd be fun. Yeah. All right, my question, Starman NJ, you get shrunk down to action figure size. What playset are you calling home? Hashtag Ask Major Pod. I love this one. Yeah, like, a, like, a Barbie like, dream, like a Barbie dream house or something so I can get the most space possible. Yeah, I was, oh, was going to so say, fun. if you're talking practical, I'm, yeah. I'm using a dollhouse. Yeah, right. Yeah. I'm using one of those real nice yeah, dollhouses. I don't want to get sick of my space. They got toilets. Uh, you got toilets you know? and showers when you're feeling. You <laughs> I know? think I would do the uh, the Ninja Turtle sewer. That was There's my a little first bed thought. in there, a little, little well, couch thing. I'm if we're not talking enough. not practical, maybe a bat cave. Not regular. One of the pretty back caves are pretty cool. Every time I see that, like on a top shelf at one of the vintage toy stores we go to, I go, "Damn, I, my childhood was fantastic." But I do wish I freaking had that. Oh, oh actually, what Batman was the back fucking thing? But they that we... redid it for every movie. It was the yeah, same. Yeah, movie. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. man, just looks so epic in the box. That Thundercats base we saw at the uh, yeah, yeah, Super Seven, yeah, Super Seven Thundercats <laughs> base would be the winner. Ghostbuster Firehouse, and I can finally like play with the slime because I'm oh, like get over it. We talked about this <laughs> yeah. every week. We talked about it on the board. Man, I, ply, I finally play with the slime. Man, they just don't make places like they used to. They do not. They There's not think, many I, they, out there. I, back to that word, Mark. Just use practical. I don't think it's practical yeah. for retail, and then you got a crowdfund. It's just it's gone away. Yeah, Ewok Village. That's a good one. There's like no room in that thing. Yeah, it's not very big. I love that thing. Yeah. But it had nets. Maybe probably more comfortable uh, oh. bed situation. A, so, a nice soft like, good like hammock. hammock is what I'm looking for. Yeah. Like a hammock, okay. All yeah, because right. the because the plastic beds not very comfortable to sleep on. That's why you need a dollhouse. It has like blankets and shit. Mm. Me and Brian know. I feel like we're. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I don't play with dolls. <laughs> I feel like we're pretending like we're the cast of Toy Story and what we would do. Right. right. But anyway. All right, Benny T at Eater <sighs> of Cheese says. This is another weird one, but interesting. If you if all your figures, guys, disappeared overnight, oh. and the value of them appeared in your PayPal, okay, so you lost everything, but you have all the money. What would your strategy be to begin rebuilding your collection? Uh, what would what? you recollect and not bother recollecting? How would you go about getting your collection back? I wouldn't. You would just tap I out. I think that would tap me. Also, that number. I think, listen, guys. That number would probably put real. my wife into the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I, wouldn't, I think he's asking, okay, like, well, how would you buy back? Like, what would be your shit? Yeah, 100%. If, if, fun, if funds are unlimited. Cause you have Immediately, funds. Hasbro's. I, I, like, I, I would be. God. There's a lot of things that I sort of would not maybe buy back. I think a lot of the Marvel uh, uh or uh a lot of the Star Wars like Black Series I probably wouldn't reget. Same. I would immediately I, I don't know if I would recollect the Flare collection. I don't know if I'd recollect my Mattel collection. I I would just yeah, I would I would be done, guys. I would be so uh, uh, Brian, uh, you would get those ECW figures back. See, my problem with that is all mine are signed. Several deceased people, and then the ECW ones I have loose are my true Lucy's from childhood. So like, oh, it was just that would be pretty soul crushing. I mean, what's me. crazy is that I, Brian and I, we've kind of done this in like around 2009. <laughs> right. The Great Purge sold everything except for a couple of things, and then rebought. Like once once the network came back, I, and I was watching the Monday Night Wars, I bought the Toy Biz, and then when uh, Tony Schiavone's podcast came out, I bought the San Francisco Toy Makers. Or like the ECW figures I rebought after I bought the Toy Biz because I was itchy for like I wanted all three you know federations, so I've done it before. Well, I would have a ball recollecting the Hasbro's and the Retros, right? I would mm. I would really enjoy doing that, and I would also, 
enjoy recollecting the Star Wars Power of the Force. Yes. They're easy to, they're yes. easy to collect, <clears throat> and you can find them everywhere. Mark just has a different... And people, all people are different, right? But I think Mark's patience and fun in doing that is different than me and Broski. We're like... No, I want the whole set. More brat, we're more brat style. Like, Yeah, give me the whole okay, fucking like, set, pal. Uh, I don't know how I... You know, whatever. You know, I'm nuts. But I concocted that ECW magazine autograph collection I wanted to do. Mm-hmm. And it is driving me nuts. I can't find the Sabu one. But also... Along those lines, I was thinking of other things. Like, this is going to be the 20-year anniversary of the first ever TNA figures. So I was like, you know what? I want to get all four of those guys minty mint signed. Wow. Just to keep as a keepsake. It's like impossible on eBay. And then you got to hook them through mint. these. I'm combing through auction after auction. Everything is something. Rip J-hook, back right. corner, smash this, yellow bubble, like impossible right Damn. so like in theory that sounded like a lot of fun but i'm already like miserable about it and i haven't even started <laughs> right but sure. I, I i find it hard to bl- i i feel like you'd probably be depressed for like four or five months but i but I, I there's a you'd come back in some way it might not be what you have now but you would come back in some way right because like we always say, you'll get itchy and you got to scratch at some point. Yeah, first of all, hey, we're, you we're know what probably... I would, you know what, as I glance over at my case, I'd immediately buy back one of all my students to display. Oh, Boom shakalaka. Boom shakalaka. Exactly. For sure. Right. Broski would be sitting on two mil in his That's bank. That's a layup. <laughs> Dude, I, my whatever. wife would crumble, I think, at that number. Mm-hmm. From, yeah, I was right. trying to. I'd probably be like fifty thousand, maybe. I don't know, maybe more. Still nuts to just have fifty thousand. Crazy, right? bro. Yeah. Mm. Crazy. All right, guys. Up next is good housekeeping. <sighs> All right, guys. YouTube.com slash Major Pod Network. We have some great blogs up. Uh, we have our, our tour of Universal Studios. We're ranking rides. JJ does a great job. Let really, me let really me tell great. you what we got coming up there, Broski. Okay, yeah, go ahead. So so that this weekend netted us f- this weekend in Orlando netted us four vlogs. Okay, so here's <laughs> so, what we decided. So I've been crazy, saying actually. we weren't sure how we were going to do this. I'm going to tell you exactly how we do it right now. First, that toy hunt, epic toy hunt, one of the best we've done in years, is up on YouTube right now. Check it out. Second. Our day at Universal that we did not even want to do, but J. George kind of secretly shot. He yep. said it'll be good. I am surprised at how interesting I thought it was, and it was a unique little vlog. It's something totally different than we've ever done on a YouTube channel. Um, nice little fun day. It's not that long, so check that. that. That's up there right now. Now, we thought the rest of the weekend would be one vlog, but just night one is about... <laughs> is about 20 minutes and that is oh, that will be available first so it's going to be that first night and then boozing with the toys um a tour of the house all that stuff and then we're going to do the behind the scenes of the live show for the second vlog so we've the got opening, a lot of stuff coming the opening of that vlog with heath is unfucking believable i yeah. literally was dying and then i had my kids my kids watched just that opening part where he's explaining all the rooms and they're like you stay here <laughs> Uh, oh, man, it was fun. It's really well put together. I don't even I don't even know where he came with the idea because me and Heath broke down the whole weekend and he just went nuts talking about the whole thing. And Jay George edited his explanation to the video, which yeah. was just perfect. Really so well fun. done. So fun to hear. Yeah. See uh, here, I should say. So good. Also, guys, <sighs> prowrestingtees.com slash major W Pod. A lot of cool stuff up there. Guys, we just dropped all of the live 19 live in Philly merch. People were asking for the merch. It is up. Make sure you order it in time for live in Philly. There are five different shirts, five shirts. And of course, if you go, there are so many ECW theme shirts that we've done in the past. So you can get a live in Philly shirt. You get an ECW theme shirt. Oh, the one come, the come ECW up. like cartoon one where it's us three and swaggle. Yeah, what a great but one. It's that famous ECW shirt. Yeah. There's the the PBR one with with it's like us like I think you're drinking a PBR, Brian. Oh, the Sandman, that's yeah. the Sandman inspired shirt. Yeah. yeah, fuck that shirt rules too. So much cool stuff over on Major. 
the uh, pod frozen teas, major pod merch, guys. There's a there's a lot of like live eighteen leftover merch. Well, I shouldn't say a lot. But there's a couple different things. Get that and other major pod eyes and major pod merch. Major bendies, get your major bendies to the last couple days to get Jane Silent Bob to get. Uh, Nick Nemeth, to get Mark Merrow, to get Butterbean, and of course, Hacks and Jim Duggan, both of them, and Magnum TA, big rubber guys, majorbennies.com. If you want to advertise your product or service, hit us up, majorpodcast at gmail.com. Whatnot, every Monday, Brian and I are on Whatnot. Mark, when are you making your big return? Uh, I'm gathering the stuff. I, <laughs> I have, it's been so long, I have seven crates to sell. Jesus, dude. I think I'm going to sell it in a giant lot of crate stuff. Oh, my no, God. Yeah, lot, I know. Lots, I know, I, I know that it's not going to be good. Die and whatnot. That's, That's right. fine. It's yeah. just going to be an epic m- amount of random wrestling things in a box. <laughs> Very fun. Also, guys, Major Rewind. Jay George does a great job. Trip down memory lane every two weeks on the main feed of the podcast. Plugs this week. A match over a decade in the making, GCW, Los Angeles, Ukrainian Cultural Center. Myself versus the wanted man, Nick Nemeth. Like I said, a match over a decade in the making. And then the next day, GCW in. Double shot? Double shot. Phoenix, Arizona. It's myself, Broski, Jimmy Lloyd, and Steph DeLander against Bussy and Violent J. So I'm excited for that six man what? tag. Is Nemeth on that show in his hometown? He's not. No. What a weirdo. Yeah. <laughs> I keep I made up this, you know <laughs> you know Hogan's WCW song like he's a married yeah. kid. When I pass by Matina, I go, He's a wanted man. man. <laughs> I'm like, we gotta get Jimmy Hart to remix this for yeah. you. Yeah. Hey, random question, Broski, just popped in my head. You had all that time off in December, and yeah. now you're you're back to it. Yeah. Um, how are you feeling? Because you, like did, like did you kind of miss that time off time, or are you like ah who fuck it I'm back to work? Well, it used I to be just, like this, but now he's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's back to work, baby. You know, it is what okay. it is. I all got. Right. Uh, I'm trying not to book myself out too far in advance. Okay. Uh, so this year I have everything until. Uh, June like booked up. I have a couple things in June. I fuck. I have a couple things in July too. Fuck. But I, you know, not every single weekend is completely booked up yet. So, right. but it's the it's the nature of the beast. You know, the indie god got to keep that that streak alive. Got to keep that title going. So, I get yeah. yeah but I I mean, for me, I had like like three weeks off or whatever at one point, and then going back that first time was like, oh fuck. This I mean, is let's terrible. be honest, guys. Like, who wants to go to work? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, nobody wants to leave their house. Nobody wants to go to work. But that's what that's what we do. It, it, hard to yeah. kill. I had to like. I felt like I literally had to shake off the ring rust. Yeah, it's been three weeks, but I've been going. To, I was going to cap and training. It wasn't like I wasn't wrestling, but it was just. It was just weird to even put my gear on. It, it yeah, felt so yeah, long yeah. for sure. What about you guys? You guys do anything this weekend or what? Oh yeah, I would love to plug my show this weekend. Broski will not be there, but it's EWA Live Professional Wrestling, guys. Portland, Maine. It's oh, yeah. the Maine Mariners versus the Rapid City game. Sunday, February 4th, 3 p.m., post-show wrestling show. And let me just tell you this. I will be main eventing in a wild eight-man <laughs> oh, tag God. with myself, Shannon Moore, Big Con from The Ascension, Heath Slater versus the hometown boy, Scotty Tuhati, another hometown boy, the dirty Dango Fandango man himself, Colt Cabana and Tommy Dreamer, guys. If you're in that area, the New England area, how do you not come? To the goddamn that's a wild Rangers one. Game this Who are Sunday. the bad guys? That. Who are the bad guys in that? No, it's tough, right? <laughs> it's tough. Heath, Heath's gonna have to channel his inner three and B. Well, guys, uh, collisions in Hidalgo County, Texas. All right. I don't All even right. know the the city, get, but it's McAllen Airport. Or get something. me a tape. I'll get <laughs> you a tape. No problem. Sounds good. Hidalgo. All right, guys. I that's think it. that's it, huh, Mark? We're out of time. See ya. Sorry about the. Join the community at MajorMarks.com and get access to exclusive content, behind-the-scenes footage, and become a member of the Major family. 
You get bonus episodes on our careers, wrestling figure history, and exclusive interviews with our friends and legends in the business each month. You also get early access to YouTube videos and, of course, the weekly podcast ad-free and breaking news updates. Brand new shows featuring... <laughs> oh, baby. And you... Each month, you can interview someone in the wrestling business with a captain's log. Also, buy, sell, and trade in our exclusive Facebook community where people have become friends in real life. Certain memberships include merch like monthly trading cards and quarterly mystery gifts. Become a major mark and join MajorMarks.com today. <laughs> 